quack, 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 quack. Yeah, Charlie. Kevin, Conway. we we were discussing whether or not Kevin looks older with or without the hat. I don't yeah. know, guys. What do you think? Like, he wasn't I so we have a disagreement. Carrie thinks younger. Carrie thinks he looks older with uh, the hat on, and I think he looks older with it off. Well, it looks like know. his hair is dyed with it off. It's but not dyed. It looks younger to me. So, anyways, Trash to Cash podcast episode one hundred and seventeen. How is it going? Oh, wow. oh wait. I'm Dave, the ADH guy. ADH I think that's guy. what I go by. And then with mm-hmm. us, as always, we have the gilded swinger of antiquity, Commonwealth yes. Picker, Old and swinger. the slumbering scavenger of bargains, <laughs> Carrie. Yes. I American woke up for, for the Lady <laughs> Moon podcast. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, what is Ooh. Kevin? Kevin is just ruining Sorry. the show. Wow. I have my audio on on my computer in here. I'm not used to doing the show in here. Normally, my audio up there is off. So Kevin, I wanted to. Your comment reminded me something, Dave, that somebody said about Carrie. So I was trying to find it, but we I'll may need to take a break in about 20 minutes because I just had the uh, Taco Bell steak Dude. grilled cheese burrito. Dude. I'm on a diet again. Y'all. I'm also I'm on a good. diet. Oh yeah. Here's the thing. Looks no, with like Taco it. Bell, it instantly comes out your butt, so no, the calories don't this count. Is fake. It's true. News. It's true. Mm-hmm. What do the if you poop it all out? Where are the calories going? They're just They're attaching gone. to the stomach. I don't think that's how science works, Kevin. In in with the new, out with the old. That's the way I always say it. So exactly, it's good. <laughs> so what did what did it, my comment uh, remind you of, Kevin? You it got remind, all okay, excited. So it's Craig the BG eight O H. I don't know what that is, that's but it's uh, he was talking Dude. about. Remember the the hero superheroes we were supposed to be. Yeah, so yeah. He yeah. says, uh, "Oh no, I'm going to say Carrie is my boy Gambit." Yes. A character everyone loves, but not entirely sure why. <laughs> Thank you. I love Plus, Gambit, my favorite. What does Gambit use as a weapon? Cards. Gambit is yes. also nomadic, as is Carrie with all his trips across country in the car. So, wow, that was way too thoughtful for the podcast, but I appreciate it. That was really yeah. thoughtful. I love it. And There's another one. We'll start off with these today. Here you go. This is uh, Mr. Hoover, who doesn't say positive things. But should we tell Dave how much we like the AI bits? Question marks. Will he stop doing them then? Because telling no, him I how won't. much we hate I already them... responded to that comment. You see, I said, now I'm going to oh. do it way more because oh, he was yeah. being obnoxious. Look how vain you know, Dave is. Dave's worried about am, his, I'm like looking his at widow's myself. peak and yeah. his yeah. gray hair. Yeah. yeah, and he's... Well, what's got into you this week? Well, this is the thing. I went Kevin. to a flea market today, and I actually got sunburned. So I was looking to see if my sunburn was showing it Must up. be nice. But yeah, sunburned in January, guys. Welcome to you Florida. You have rosy life. cheeks, which yeah, is a hurts. symbol, it, Kevin, it, as Kevin would know, of, of, of vitality and virality. Is that right? Or it actually v- hurts. Virality? Vertiglio? <laughs> no, this is well. I was also like contemplating. I had like an immature joke saying, "Oh, Carrie also matches all the Gambit dolls I've ever sold anatomically." But then I was like, "That's a little yes. immature," so I probably shouldn't <laughs> say it. <laughs> and incredibly <laughs> personal. I don't want to talk about. It. Well, Dave sends that Just picture fun. of us, the Valentine's hearts, and all three of us together. There, we Dave was looking oh, yeah. good in that picture. You smelled. Really, I was, yeah, really I was looking nice. svelte, yeah. svelte, and and yeah. very sexy. Yeah, um, okay, good. so. Terry, yeah, what's up, buddy? I'm, I'm just saying, Kevin, say you're, something. You're distracted. Can, what, 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 do you, you want me to go get a different set of headphones? I don't know. I feel like they keep unplugging, but maybe not. Maybe I'm imagining it. I don't know. I, I don't. I don't notice anything because you I'm never not. do. You yeah. never do. <laughs> but I do. <laughs> How's Chippendales, Carrie? The... Dude, Chippendales yeah, was awesome. Yeah, they had the Chippendales right next to the card show today. So uh... I walked by the Chippendales and took a picture, shared. Let you guys know I was going to put a quick shift in before the podcast. I <laughs> well, yeah. had 17 nickels thrown at me, which was nice. Hurt. Me and me and Kevin were debating. We were debating. We're like, is he going to show up or did he actually go to Chippendales? No and we didn't way. think you'd do it for yourself. We thought you'd do it for Dawn, like as a little treat. Yeah. But yeah, I, I just we yeah, were up I in mean, the air on it. Why why go why go out for hamburgers when you got the wagyu <laughs> the steak, steak at home? home. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. That is true. I wish I could. I wish Don was here. She would have a great comeback to that for sure. I remember. He's got listen, a lot. I remember. I remember when Don used to watch the show. Th- yep. Those were the good old she days. You won't get to enjoy that show. Fan. BK Second before Kevin, Kevin joined. Done. <laughs> mm-hmm. so Second he joined, that. she was out of there. She's no, like, yeah, this guy's so was fake. Out before that, she just she's not a podcast person. I was surprised she watched. 
And then she realized we, you know, she didn't have to support us anymore. We were going to do it either way. So she didn't. We were going to make it. But, you know, we used to introduce the podcast as the best reselling podcast on the internet. And we don't do <laughs> that anymore. No. Yeah. Yeah. But, but we, should. we should. No, you actually, know, science has proven it. There's science better podcasts than ours. Oh, yeah. We really are. It. Yeah. Oh, let's do a big long AI segment for JK <laughs> oh, let's Hoover. Do it. <laughs> Uh, let's let's do pocket can. change. Let's have them rate the pocket change podcast. Who's the dude? Best? I do you like the pocket Jimmy? change. <laughs> it's just Jimmy doesn't exist on the show. <laughs> I did I did ask the best reselling sure. podcast on YouTube, and it did come back and said uh, the Paycheck to Day Check podcast, which I've dude. Holy cow! Check. It actually gave us number two. Number two oh, is Trash right. to Cash reselling yes. podcast. Oh, wow. Yeah, dude, the yeah, computers cool. like us. Man. AI it's knows. We've been sucking up to them on that other podcast. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we don't even bother telling anybody we're doing. It was Friday. Yeah. I think none of us shouted out. I'm like, we're just, <laughs> yeah. we're just gonna release these movie podcasts, and if someone watches, it's good only for, for the tax write off. That's the only reason. Hey, you know what, Carrie? I still have to watch that weird movie. Anyways, I will say, guys, we need your help beating out Paycheck to Daycheck podcast. Yeah. So make sure you tell your friends about the trash of cash. Cheers. Also, we are 20 subscribers away from hitting 10,000 subscribers yeah. on this channel. How I shouted it out on my card channel and got us zero subscribers. So that was Kevin that was has agreed that stumbling. if we hit 10,000, oh, when quit. it comes to Florida, he's going to go to my sister's <laughs> tattoo shop and add, finally, the testicles to his tattoo on his arm, <laughs> which I'm very excited <laughs> about. Yeah, it's always, it's always just been a lonely shaft, and now it'll be good. <laughs> I'm gonna go to Rod's and hang out with Mike. And I'm not even. I was with go. I was with Rod. I was with Rod all day. Me I feel like and Rod's okay, so better friends with uh, Dave. Then me and yeah, me and Rod and my dad and his dad all went to this flea market and we had a lot of fun. It was called Browns. I do just... think it's uh, pretty solid. Yeah, we got there at, like it started at 10 a.m. And it goes till four. We were there from like nine thirty until three or so, and I got a whole bunch of cool stuff for Dibdit, which, by the way, is where I got this shirt, this Mighty Duck shirt, my, my Dibdit order. Nice. And I mean, it's not the best stuff, but it's fun stuff, action figures, nostalgia. Is that your cool Dibdit like that. read right there? It's not the best stuff, but it's fun <laughs> yeah, stuff. That's about the best I can do. Actually, if we're gonna pitch something, <laughs> we're, though, if we're gonna pitch up something. We're almost to 10k on there. Money already. 10k on the bay. Oh, wow, yeah, we've sold on the bay. 10k on the Dibdit. Wow. On the dip, on the bit, bit, on the dip, 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 God, your cigarettes. I actually saw this is a Florida thing, right? Me, me and my dad were on our way to the flea market, and there's this lady jogging, cigarette like hanging out the <laughs> mouth, right? just hanging out, like no fingers, just like just like lagging. Oh, and then she she gets it. to like where she has to do the crosswalk. She pushes the button. She's like jogging. She takes off a shoe, removes her sock, sets it on the on the ground, and then puts the shoe back on and continues to run. And I'm just like, <laughs> what? Why? I love it. Like, that's I love awesome. It. I love, that is like while the eating said, a Twinkie. You yeah. literally just verbalized like a 10 million view TikTok. If you would have just filmed that, yeah. day, I would have yeah. loved to watch that. That sounds like so Florida it hurts, and I love it. it. It was it was very Florida. I think we could do a Florida TikTok. Yeah. That's a good idea. If, if she just like, started running across the crosswalk and just like a meth-addled alligator got her, that would have been <laughs> it. I would have well, been I... over the moon. <laughs> <laughs> that would have been good. We could we could like AI it in or something like that. <laughs> or yeah, I'll need you to wear like a little alligator suit, and I'll, we can just dude, shoot be, that part later. Try, I think it'll it. be good. Dude, I'll yeah. Do it. So basically, what happened was I ran out of footage, like just completely ran out of footage. And so I went and I was like, this weekend I gotta get stuff. Now, of course, I had a Kevin moment, and it started pouring on Saturday, yeah. so everything got canceled on Saturday, basically. Kevin but moment. Friday. What are you talking about? Yeah, because when you were down here, there was raining, oh, yeah, and you didn't get to go to yeah. No, that no, we did. We still did all right. That was a good you day. did all right. Dude, this one was my video when I was down there. Day I hope two. it doesn't rain next weekend, man. I day two. Day two. Good. Both those videos were number one so far, and I still have a whole video left to go from day two. Move Actually, on maybe down. Two. Your wife wants beachfront Crazy. property. Come oh, on. but people were asking, cash. like, where was this sale? What was the name? Yeah. And I'm like, nope, not telling you. Nope. 
You nope. were like, it's the, uh, it's the, it's the Utah jazz yeah. sale. Where were you at? Exactly. The heart when of Utah. <laughs> when in I shared it on Instagram, I put a Beach Boys, like, California song on there. Like, yeah, You're trying to throw them off. Go over there. Nice, nice, nice. It was nice. Yeah, I mean, that sale's not big, but we did get some good stuff. Dude, but, uh, I killed it at that sale. We thought awesome. we were going to have this killer sale. Like me, Captain Earth, Flipper, Rod, we all said, oh, we're going to meet up at the uh, Swinger Capital of the World, the Where's Villages. Oh, the Villages. Oh, yeah. And it's also <laughs> the elderly swingers, Kevin, so you would fit right in. There's you would some fit truth right in. to that. We have an elderly totally. 55, mm. I guess not elderly, but 55 plus community here, and there are stories, man. There yeah. is some stories about that place as far as it being like Swingtopia. Yeah. Well, it's it's, it's like well known nationwide that the villages are known for swinging. It's gross! Known... I don't want to talk about this. Dude. No, hold on. This is oh, well, I'm talking about. I'm talking about my yard sailing. I went okay. yard sailing there. At the village. yard sailing. At the villages. Yes, the village. I went garage sailing at the villages. They had eighty five. Well, okay. So there was a lot of uh, you know toys, as it were, like what swings. Kind of toys? Yeah. Swings and the, uh, you know, accessories. <laughs> no, there was no toy. There was no toy. There was no toy. It was actually quite terrible. It was eighty-five houses, but so it was look, eighty-five house sale January fifth. Sell or something their estate like that. and That's sell rare. everything off before they go to the village. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, and you know what they buy with all that money? I figured this out too. Golf carts, home goods, just stuff. the yeah. fanciest golf, oh, yeah. golf yeah. carts yeah. they yeah. can buy. Yeah, I've seen that stuff <laughs> on on YouTube it's, channels. Some of them are crazy. nuts. They got like dude, twenty inch spinners imagine? on these yeah. things, dude. Could you imagine like the grocery stores next to the villages, like how much pineapples they sell because they have to keep fresh pineapples <laughs> yeah. on each side? Of no, the there was a lot of pineapples on doors. There was pineapples no. on mailbox. <laughs> I'm not kidding at all. I'm not kidding at all. Yes, yes. Oh there was pineapples God, everywhere. I mean, and and I, it's funny because like this lady was like pitching it to my mom, and she's like, "Oh, you should move here. It's such a lovely place. Ooh, it's like living yeah. in Disney World. We had no like idea Sodom. how amazing it was gonna be." Yeah. And like just right next to her, I see the the pineapple on her house. I'm like, oh, <laughs> yeah. I, I told my mom on the way home, I'm like, "Mom, you know that's like the swinger capital you of Florida. Have it's like that. the yeah, highest." Yeah. And I said, you it's like the highest it. STD rate in Florida. She's like, <laughs> and you took me to their restaurant? <laughs> I'm like, Ma, they're not going to give it to you in your chicken SPAs sandwich. <laughs> She's like, but how do you get it? I'm like, well, the S stands for sexual, <laughs> <laughs> not sandwich. STD. That's a merch opportunity for trash. There you go. Right there, sandwich transmitted disease. you know what I want to do? I had this idea. and tomato. I had this go. idea. I want to make like exclusive merch for the Patreon. You're already right? making like, merch and selling it on Dipdip without our approval. Yeah, yeah, that is true. No, but I want like I want like some hilarious meme shirt that everyone who's the wealthy as a Kevin member just gets for free. Dude, wouldn't that I'm be gonna cool? Get more of those pineapple hats. Okay. What people like? Are you gonna sell them? Are you yeah. gonna put your logo on it? You're gonna put oh, your logo dude, and then the pineapple. That's a good idea. <laughs> you, should do, <laughs> you should do that. Please do that and send uh, and make sure there's just one upside do down pineapple. One, one upside down. There's pineapple. a lot. I want, I want to. Directions. It's a joke, but it's gonna be super awkward at one of these get-togethers we have in the future when somebody's wearing your pineapple hat and you talk to them and then you know what they're signaling. Oh my gosh. Yeah. If you get the hat, it's guys, no you're making at a that signal. Point. Yes, this is this You're is You're making invite. a signal to Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so anyways, the villages it was actually quite terrible. It was one of those sales where it's like put out a table and put three items on yeah. it. And mm -hmm. as Kevin said, like the items they had, oh it's my like gosh. something to do. Me and Rod ended up splitting up, right? And he calls me and he's like, What you buying? I said, D V D players. He's like, Yeah, me too. <laughs> That's all I got. It's like D V D players and remotes and just horrible stuff. And he's like uh, I remember he called me at one time, like this is the kind of day it was, right? He calls me. He's like, I just got a shark tooth hat. I'm like, nice. No way. And he's like, it's fake. I said, oh. He's like, but it was still yes. cool. <laughs> oh, Kevin, just we lost reason? him. Or we lost me. Oh, Dave? Is he frozen? Yeah, oh, I'm Dave. so happy this happened to it's Dave. It's kind of nice, though, because I, I, I'm assuming uh. he had a dumb story he was telling you. <laughs> no, I was looking forward to the shark tooth. I wanted to know what it was. Yeah, but he was disappointed. So maybe it was a fake or something? Or it was a, a like a Mitchell and Ness modern one, maybe? Why yeah, well, me and Carrie it? been talking, y'all. Me and Carrie been talking. Yeah. I don't know if Dave's still recording this or not, but it, I doubt. Well, it's still ticking away. So TikTok is is killing it for you lately, and I Dude, actually had a TikTok up. do well, Carrie. So you all you people out there trying to put out content, TikTok might you might want to go, but we kind of went away from it, kind of going back to it. I think it's, maybe you could check it out. It's been a combination of things. I, I've kind of figured out my 
my long form style. Cause before I was doing like 13 second videos and that was it. Mm -hmm. Now I got to do like a minute long plus videos. And I, I found kind of a style that's been working for sure. Hey, welcome back, buddy. All right. Back to the shark tooth, Dave. Shark tooth. Well, it was, shark it was, tooth. We, it we wasn't fake. It was a reproduction. <clears throat> it was a reproduction mm -hmm. or something. Yeah. They still have uh, but he, like well, records. yeah, he paid, yeah. but he paid up. He paid up. But it's like 20 we'll, we'll save that for his 30 video. bucks probably. He probably will lose money. <laughs> but but <laughs> he's but not then, gonna put that on the video. Only you do that. No, he is because it was a fun conversation. It was yeah. like something on the wall and stuff. So it's I mean, spoiler. Did he alert. know sorry, it was a repop? Sorry. No. No. Okay. But you know, I, I wouldn't have known. I know I wouldn't have known. I don't know how he even figured it out eventually. Just but he look did. in the tag. Yeah. Made well I don't know what the tag's supposed to look. Ness oh, made in China. Newer, okay. There you go. Look, reselling be, tip yeah. of the week. Reselling tip of the week. If it says well, made no, in China, like Shark that means it's I think one. Mitchell, Mitchell and Ness makes them, but then the starter ones are from the Yeah, 90s. that's exactly right. You got it. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, now we know. I know how to resale. You're Turn amazing. Turnock had a video about it here with me. See, are you are you guys both coming out here for the 100? Or is it just Dave? Yes. It's just Dave. Which one's the 100? Which one is Here, you're, you're, May. you're thinking about the 127. I think I'm going to come May. out a couple times. So if it's like one you guys are going to both go to, I'll probably fly out. Yeah. 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 I'm well, going to go. Hey, my whole Ray family's gonna go too. I heard now. Ray Nashville Flippers. He said he's having a meet up in Nashville in April. Really? Or what for? But yeah. That's what he said. Okay. So well, hey, to... listen. Speaking of meetups, Carrie, we do need to mention yeah. this. But go ahead. This is the last one we'll ever. You it. better go get no, your tickets because we're not doing it again. I just went to a not really good way. chicken place with uh, Ray, and it was awesome. And then the, nice. they, we we sat like in a family table, like Benny Hanna style. And then they found out we were YouTubers, and they were in my video. It was fun. <laughs> awesome. Yeah, uh, yeah. No, this is it, guys. If you want to come, if you want to come to a trash to cash official trash to cash reseller event, this is your chance. Uh, yeah. We're not going to do an event like this again. We have not sold enough tickets, but you can come. <laughs> I, you can I still come. We're going to give away. So. We're going. to Well, yeah. I didn't. You knew how little cred you had, more so than I thought you. Yeah. Did. Does that <laughs> make sense? It's I thought you had some pull. How yeah. How short no, and am. useless his coattails are, honestly. Yes, the they're not <laughs> helping at all. Disappointing. It's very upsetting. Uh, yeah, but not anyways. as short as uh, Harry Tornado's coattails. Yeah, he had 68,000 people watch his video. We sold zero tickets, and he promoted our, <laughs> our event. <laughs> 60 out th 60. Here's the thing. 68,000 people made the choice no to this event. <laughs> so that is just like a real <laughs> strong signal for me. <laughs> Now, what I will Dave? say is, you know, if you want to bring Kevin, your family, you know, I, I have to pay for this amount of food. We'll so find you some might folks. Well Come on, y'all. No, here's what we're going to do. We're going to give away two tickets. That's what we're going to do. Uh, Tuesday night, tonight, on this channel, me and Carrie channel, are going to be live giving live. away tickets to someone who can go. But you have uh, to give yes. a super chat of at least... <laughs> No, we're not, that's gambling. You're not allowed to do gambling. <laughs> It'll just be a free ticket. The only thing that I'm a little concerned about is that someone who already bought a ticket will win. <laughs> we're just going to lose even more money. Wait, no, you don't. <laughs> they can't no, enter if they already have a ticket. Okay, what, okay. Ask for a Why refund? not? That's what I was thinking. They'd ask for a refund. Well, we just say no. No, it's refunds. just an additional ticket they can bring a family member. How about yeah, that? Or just whoever. That's, that's whoever. what it is. Yeah, they can bring a friend or a family member. I like that. There you go. No yeah, refunds, start, guys. No stop refunds. So Dave wants me to donate money to other people's events, and he can't even get anybody to come to this event. Yeah, the Carrie, well, well you also Kevin, podcast. the sponsor master, who literally has yeah. an American Bubble Boy tattoo, can't even get you, us five hundred bucks. Get get us. I yeah. told you day one, yeah. I wasn't going to do sponsors for this. Yeah, yeah. I hate, it's not easy to ask people all. for money. Speaking of sponsors, Vendu, thank you so much. You are kind enough to sponsor, even if. You know, what's his name over there? Can't get any sponsors. I got Vendu to sponsor the event. Not only that, Carrie, but amazing people over at my reseller. Genie sponsored the oh event. Oh, my gosh. And Magic, they, both of these Genie. amazing companies have helped support the event. So make sure you check out their websites. Links down below. Hey, they Try sent out their me a services. gift. Did they send you a gift? What, a my reseller Genie yeah. gift? They sent me, they're sending me swag bags or something to I give away. They're sending me swag no, I mean, and a here's the other thing. Christmas gift. They're also sending some giveaways, like like a big gift card or like a laptop or something to give away at our event to yeah. one of the oh, attendees. Really? So, yeah, Ooh. it's kind of cool. Very cool of them. So, Can we're going to have we're some sort go of chance. Live? No. Should, yeah. Hey, yeah you don't have a chance to look. Yeah, Listen, but to get their item, they got to be at the event. <laughs> if they want to try to win, if they want to try oh, to win, they got to come to the event. No, you cannot get it, Carrie. 
You cannot get it. No. <laughs> I'm scared. Don, I'm getting that thing. It's a bit. Mm-hmm. Didn't a bit, Don guys. win something at Josh's thing? Mm, I don't I know. Somebody so. did that I know. Mm. Yeah, I think, I think a couple people won, Kevin, that you know. Yeah. Well, I know you everybody who went the people to the there. event won, <laughs> won me and Josh Harry Tornado the, singing a Do you remember world, carrying like, the list perfectly event? Gladden. They were giving away stuff for like hours, just giving stuff away really? all day. It was crazy. Well, we got, are you, gonna, you should bring some giveaways, Kev. Some and Harry Tornado, I'll bring you some. got to steal. You, you got what you got, or you could go steal it from somebody. And Josh went over to some old lady and just took her stuff right out of there, right? Right do you know? Stole. Do they make yeah, a uh, a plush up, pig dude. cannon? <laughs> a plush pig cannon, so we can shoot death pile piggies at people oh, in the audience. Dude. Ooh, that would be good. <laughs> dude, let's do. I like that. We'll throw them. We'll just throw them. <laughs> throw them as hard as we away, can at you. <laughs> it would be fun <laughs> having fewer people yeah, if, there. If you don't get it, it's going to be you intimate. Don't wince, you get it for free. Like, dude, we're still going to have like we're still going to have like fifty people. We're still going to have like fifty people. And 50 people is actually a really nice sized event. You know, it's not too 50 crazy. 50 of our closest to to friends who decided to Dude. give us money, which uh-huh. in my in my book are our best kinds of friends. And I don't want, like, listen, I'm, I'm only bitter at the mm. few resellers who live in Orlando that I like that are my friends who didn't buy tickets to come even though they literally live there. I'm a little bitter at those folks. <laughs> but yeah. everyone else you, is fine. I get it. Traveling is ty- are you Are you implying that you don't want to deal with Dalton anymore? I, I'm just like I'm just not feeling like uh, bada bingy in the moment. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, there's no bada bing. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I'm, some people may call me a monster, but I just don't think I'm a profit monster. Yeah, you, you don't know? get any. Profits. I don't think <laughs> I am <laughs> anymore. So, uh, my heart's been broken uh, by three certain people, not to be named, who yeah. chose not to go but- to our event. <laughs> but the tornadoes are coming, and they don't even live anywhere yes. near. They're yes, driving because they are on their private yeah, helicopter they or whatever. Mm-hmm. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, they, they right. do. They're going to take Air, get for, a uh, Air Force One. <laughs> just like you went to Goodwill, the limo. President's just flight. Bring the limo right over there. Yep. They're taking tornado okay, one anyways, down. Tonight, guys, <laughs> K- Carrie, I'm thinking 9 p.m. Eastern, which would be eight, uh, 6 p.m. your time. 6 p.m. Tuesday Pacific. night. Yeah, yeah, yeah dude, I, I find? got nothing better Tuesday to do. I'll, I'll get up okay. for it. Why not? Mm-hmm. All right, 9 p.m. <laughs> wake up. Are wake we going to record <laughs> like a podcast down there? Like We have to, right? Okay, we're going to plan this now. Uh, it's a little complex because yeah. Sunday, Sunday night, this coming Sunday, like a week from today, we me and Carrie down. are going to probably be at a mm-hmm. hotel. Because I don't want to have to drive to Webster because it opens at 6 at 3 a.m. You're going to Webster twice? Yeah, dude. He's going to Webster twice. He's going to get all the good footage. Dude, it's Martin Luther King Day. It's one of the best days of the year. We can't skip it. It's Mondays are the Monday. Holiday Mondays are amazing there. Do you know what I'm going to buy, Kevin? I'm going to exclusively buy 80s nostalgic stuff. And then I'm just going to send you pictures all day. Mm -hmm. Look at what I got. Yeah, I get it, dude. I get it. I got E.T. I don't even want to stay now. I'm leaving the 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 prop. I'm leaving. Why? I thought before. you want to do an auction. So, and stuff. are we going to do a whatnot, and then we're going to do a dip yeah. dip, and we're going to do another whatnot? Are we doing three whatnots? I dude, I don't Two know. Whatnots? We can't. We we should talk about this I after need the show. People are going to so get bored. I can get them on the schedule. Okay. Well, no, let's, they might want to come see us at Webster this. on the twenty sixth. Yeah. Well, listen. All <laughs> I know sell is their that stuff. we're going to figure it out. We're going to figure it out. Let's all talk right. after the show. But basically, there'll be lots of fun events going on. Me and Carrie and Kevin will be doing whatnots and dib dits and all these other fun things. So dib make dits. sure that you just Matt's follow Matt's profit pursuit. Prof pursuits. Prof. Prof, prof no, pursuits. Profit. Poor Thank for you. Board. Matt's Thank profit you. pursuit prof. just sold prof. something on sales. dib dits. And so did Josh Marquard. Mar- for Lord Farquaad? Nardwar? Yeah, the guy who does the interviews? Mm. Far, I don't know. Papa Is Squad? Mm. Brennan's no. <clears throat> I mean, it's going to be fun, though. I, I think... Yeah, there, well, if we give away two tickets, there's going to be two tickets. That's good. I like leave it at that. I think it's going to be fun, and then just end it. That's the whole pitch. I think, I think it's, it's going to be fun. fun. I do think it's going to be fun. Oh, it well, might be fun. Uh, Kevin's going to get weirdly competitive about that. Kevin... Actually. The part of the event is to do a live whatnot on Saturday afternoon okay. of the stuff we yard sale on Saturday morning. This is what we we're going to talk about later, right? Well, that part I figured I could at least let you know because that's oh, finalized. Okay. I cool. just don't know, like, as far as the flea market. I know you and Mike have going to be on my trailer. whatnot or your whatnot. Are we going to go all at the same time, just right after each other? Probably right after each other. We're not doing really dibbit, though. We're doing whatnot. I, don't, well, I, don't I want to can... do a dibbit there, too. I want to do okay. a big event there, we can do too. That too. From the bathroom, though. Let's do it from the bathroom. Oh, yeah. yeah I'm, br- we're bringing the trailer, dude. The trailer's going to be there. Is there a bathroom do another mo- I, no. I got to do some motivational speeches while I'm at your house, man. That's a good location for motivation. Uh, 
can we can we talk cool. about the elusive toilet paper roll in your shed, Kevin? What's the deal with that? Someone <laughs> spotted this in his video carry. I didn't even literally know got a it was toilet here. paper roll right it behind Brian Klaus, and it was no, not behind me. It was it's behind over there. Anyway, <clears throat> that is behind you. <laughs> I, all I can think of it's is it's definitely paper. behind. It's, it's not behind me. Know. It's just back there behind me. It's right behind me. <laughs> right. Yeah. Okay. Whatever. I always keep a paper towel roll in here, and it was gone. And uh-huh. in its place was the de- was like air freshener and a toilet paper roll. All I can think of is when I was gone, some chicken or some dog or something here. got in here and didn't get out, and so my daughter had to clean up the mess. <laughs> So, so wait, she brought I just this want to confirm. Hey, took a second. <laughs> I just want to confirm. You're saying chickens poop on your eBay inventory. That's that's what I just heard. I, all like, I'm saying happened. is I wasn't here, <laughs> and it would not shock me to see Reagan bring a chicken but this, in here. But this has some, happened. Just, you know, have fun. This has happened. You, at some point, there's been chicken poop on eBay inventory. At some point in your no, life, right? strong no. chance that there's chicken <laughs> poop on, the floor, on all of your inventory. <laughs> so if you buy something from Kevin. Understand. It will this would have be a really poop. weird time for a chicken just to mosey on from in front of you. It's not behind it just you. Flies. <laughs> it just flies. <laughs> we lost the chicken. Chickens don't the fly, other day. do they? No. Well, no. They, yes. if you clip yeah. their wings, they don't. Sure. We or had one because we got a we we got a little chicken up. They call them bantams, and the dog was chasing it, and it flew up to the top of the tree. I'm like, holy moly! I didn't Whoa. think they could go that high, but it did. Wow! wow really? So, if you have to, huh. you know, you got to do what you got to do. True. I don't know why I zone out the minute you start talking. It wasn't even a boring thing you were saying. I just It's like I'm trained to just zone it's, out the yeah, minute Kevin exactly starts talking. Right. I <laughs> like it when you zone out. It means I get to finish my sentence every once in a while. You're right. No, you're right. I think I it's, got my it's what the people story. want. People want that more than they want the Yeah, the there's, AI. there is a contingency of people who just want right. Kevin to be able to finish a thought. The vast but... majority. The vast majority yeah. of our audience is that contingency, actually. Yeah, that's true. So, so that's true. Dave, why are you posting keep, keep it down, posts Kevin, all of a sudden? Over there in the Facebook group, you weren't even a member of our own. Oh, Facebook I forgot group I forever. did that, dude. Yeah. Have you ever and just wanted to set stuff. a hand grenade on the ground and just run away and see what happens? That's kind of what I did in Facebook today, Carrie. I went in there and I said, "Ask your Here newbie is, reseller questions." <laughs> just dip. Newbie <laughs> questions, no shame thread. Kind answers only. Ask yeah. your newbie reselling yeah. questions here without fear of judgment. The community is here to help. <laughs> oh, let's community. Let's yeah. read them and then judge. That's, that was my plan. That was my plan. <laughs> was community, to judge them. <laughs> let's answer the call with kind answers only. Oh my gosh! Did you have no AI? There's no way mocking. you thought of this like that's yes, way too AI nice i wrote this yes AI wrote this. way too this nice ridiculous. for ridiculous kevin i wanted to see like at first of all i wanted to make new jersey pickers job a little harder that was the first step <laughs> uh, <laughs> and so you did decided they, did to they, have did they answer AI the call were they David kind Owen ask a question were they were they um, kind uh, kevin or are they mean um i don't know you want me to go through and read them all there's tons no, of them uh, if you oh were, really see look then i actually comments that means that the the post was well at, received. At what percentage of selling price should I aim to pay? I realized recently that my low ROI is more due to overpaying than picking bad items. All mm. right. Hmm. Pay as little okay. as you and can. And did people How's respond? That? Did like did uh, someone respond yeah. to them? Yeah, I've never tried. See, to I stick figured to people a would help percentage. each other. Instead, I factor in things like whether or not I have to spend time building it, repairing it, cleaning it, painting it, blah, 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 blah. It's a good advice. Good See, advice. and I was thinking, Kevin, that this would be a good way to get some real reselling topics for tonight's show. This is why I did it. I said, yeah. they're no, going to ask some not. questions. I remember that... why you did it. No, I did. I, I'm 100% I remember. this morning. This well, I forgot I did it, but I remember why I did it. I did it because I said, ooh, this would give us some good reselling Chet topics. Fletcher. Uh, or no, it's, yeah, he says, buy low, sell high. I pick up items for $2 and sell them for 100 or $1 and I sell them for 20 I never buy something for $10, then sell That's... them for 20 You get the point, expand your knowledge base if you're having a hard time finding cheap items. Hmm. Honestly, yeah, I think exactly. that, here, if you want to, that's like the most important piece of reselling advice I've ever but here's the way I'm I've always said it. Like, Hold on, low, okay. it's 50 all about bucks. your isn't, buy price. Isn't ADAPT the most important thing for you? I feel like if we search for the amount of times Carrie said adapt, it would be very high. Which is a straight rip off of Tim, because that's all he says. And now you're on his show all the time, and you just. Yeah, I'm on his show once. Yeah, I was on his sports card show. Who? Tim over the years. Oh, Tim. I missed that part. Okay. You know, Morano crack pipe Tim. The fourth. 
podcast. Well, okay, so so Rod, our friend Rod, he is willing to pay up a little bit more than me, and I'm I'm terrible. I mean, I'm not good at reselling, guys. I saw Rod pay up at the Webster. I'm like, he pays up, right? He pays up like more than I'd pay up, and and so he called me when we were at the Swinger uh, sale, and he's like, Yo, I just bought this. uh, Dooney and Burke purse. I was like, the Vacation Club one? Because I had seen it like an hour earlier because we had split up. And he's like, yeah, I'm like, it's not like 200 bucks. Like the comps are 250. He's like, he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think I can sell it for more. And I found a wallet in it that sells for 75. And I'm like, I still like, I love you, but I don't yeah, know if I would have no. done it. But he did. And, and I, I'm, okay, but, but, if me, so but he quick, did it again. Would... Well, yeah, that's true, if right? If it takes you an hour of work total and you make 75 dollars now. Yeah, if you make seventy, it wouldn't even take him an hour. It wouldn't even take him an hour. But you're also you're not just doing an hour of work. You're leveraging two hundred dollars that you can spend in other. I mean, if you have plenty of money and you can offset that, fine. But But, I mean, people buy houses all the time for two hundred thousand and sell them for two hundred and seventy thousand. So it's not like there's not some kind of a game plan there. So so and that's exactly it, right? That's the key. I think it's the higher dollar amount because yeah, it's only a five thousand or twenty thousand dollar profit on that house. But it's twenty thousand mm-hmm. dollars, right? Versus twenty dollars, and I think it's the same thing. Like if I spend yeah, three dollars to sell, it. I think it, again. I really think it was because that sale was so bad mm-hmm. that we were getting desperate, and I was making mm-hmm. questionable. Buy. I mean, he's still happy with the buy, and I, he says it's a cool he'll, item, and I he'll think make, he'll make a profit and he'll, he'll sell it yeah, quick. Two, but what did you say two fifty? So let's say he gets three twenty five out of two hundred, yeah, and he, he does it like that out of after all the fees. Yeah, that's I mean, he makes seventy five bucks. At, 85 95 bucks and if it sells quick 95 bucks took them 20 minutes so no, is it that factor, bad then you factor in your hourly rate you factor in tax you factor in the fact that you're ripping people off so you end up a loser <laughs> at the end well of that's that. the way i look at it carry is the hourly rate right you look at an item and it's like how much money can i make on this if you take how much time i put into it and stretch it out over an hour if it's 50 bucks or higher yeah it's not a terrible buy I mean, if the big the thing ROI for me, is good, or if the big me, reason, if the, uh, ASP is good. Big reason I didn't even consider it twice is because I didn't know I had the wallet inside, and so that was a fine by him. Like right. I had this little secret seventy-five dollar. But wallet. he didn't so get he, a deal on it. He, I think he said he got twenty bucks off, mm. so he might have paid one eighty. Okay, so, that's, so he's I mean, making a hundred bucks. Yeah, it's not bad. It's really not bad. I, it was more. This was more just in response to that Facebook comment about how much you're willing to pay because, yeah. again, it kind of happened today. But I think this was a better buy. It all me. depends go, on the item. We go in, up to this booth, and this really awesome lady is there, and she has an Inhumanoid action figure. Do you know what that is? No. It's like Marvel? I saw it, and I instantly was drawn to it. I've, I've never seen it before or heard of it, but I was like, that is so cool. And, like, next to it, there's some Mad Balls and stuff. So I'm like, oh, this is definitely old. Right, he's got mad balls, and she sees like me picking up. She's like, "Oh, we can't sell that. We can't sell that." And I don't want to like spoil it because it's gonna be some good footage. But basically, <clears throat> um, she had no clue what it was or what it was worth, but she knew enough that she wasn't willing to sell it. So we end up like looking up the price, telling her what it's worth, and then Rod's like, "I'm gonna try to buy it anyway." <laughs> After we do that, and uh, I thought that was crazy. Like that's ballsy. what people want you to want to do. They want yeah. you to not buy it. They want you to educate everybody out there and tell them what it's well, worth and, and that's give what it back we did. to them. And you know what? Even though she was educated, she still took way less than it was worth because it was cash now. Yeah. And she no didn't doubt. have to listen on eBay. She you didn't have to it. sell it. You know what I mean? Like, so yeah. I thought that was a pretty cool, like, example of, like, you don't need to give them max money. You just, you know. Give them They, they just want it gone. Right. They just You're want exactly it gone. right. That lady sold so. me those damn it dolls on my video today. Oh, my gosh. It's 100 bucks and there's two grand worth stuff in there. Yeah. They don't care. Yeah. She knew it. She those... sold those things. She doesn't care. Yeah. She's I got one like, of those my yesterday. goal for today was to get them all out of here. And that was her yeah. goal for the day. I'm like, that's music to my ears. So here, before I forget this, I would not pay something. I probably wouldn't pay $5 for a $15 item unless it was like something really cool. But I would pay 500 for a $1,500 item. That's the difference. And that's yeah, like yeah. the rod difference. And that's why he's doing it because it's higher dollar for higher mm-hmm. dollar. And so he's making decent. As long as you sell it quick. Carrie's right. That's the thing that comes to my mind. Oh, then it's going to sit on my shelf for 11 and months. And you have $500. And I have 150 tied up. And so that's that's my big so concern. So Carrie does he's, spending... he's got to go ask Don for money before he buys it. You know, I've spent my whole whole reselling life having to, to pinch pennies. So like $150 outlay for one item is usually something I don't do. You know, it's something that I definitely yeah. definitely struggle with. But Tim, I can, Tim, when he's I can down see that for a hundred dollar profit in like a couple weeks. I'd do that. Tim says he purposely does not bring a lot of money with him. 
because he's searching for like the absolute best deals and he's like and if it's you miss out on one they'll do be that, another though, too but it's good no. to do that too because if you know because if you find a great deal and I, this has happened to me before i could leave a little money and go grab some more money but if i'm gonna go go to the atm or something i really want that item and it's a really good deal so i'm not making mm-hmm. like impulse that's buys, true that's a good point uh and i can still get the item if it really was that great well item. you could be old like me and you keep a check in your wallet ancient ancient i keep a, a check in my wallet I, i've used can you even cash five a check legally years. anymore I think you can. I think you can. Do <laughs> you get laughed at if you walk into a bank with a check? <laughs> what, a, what about okay? So so what about the Stanley friggin' craze going on right here? Yeah, I'm so sick of hearing these pink about Stanleys. Dude, no, we but, were, yeah. But yeah. Do you the, think? There do you think Stanley? In our Discord... Yeah. Oh, go ahead, Carrie. Go ahead. No, I was gonna say. Do you think Stanley <laughs> set up that whole viral TikTok with the burnt up car and the Stanley still having the ice in it? Part of me thinks that's. Oh, a I don't know. I never saw the TikTok. I never I saw it. Carrie. Was I don't even keep. TikTok. Here's the here's the truth. I don't keep face. Uh, what's it called? Instagram or TikTok installed on my phone. It takes too much time, and I get sucked in, <laughs> and I'm yeah, unproductive. Dude. You don't have like, three hours you know a day what? to watch dancing ladies. You gotta work. Yeah, listen, here's Dave. the thing. Like without TikTok, I can poop in like a minute flat. With TikTok, my <laughs> poops take like twenty minutes. <laughs> just pinch it I, out I'm just and go. like uh, but on TikTok. Eh, Eh, yeah, you got to have a debate about whether or not resellers are thieves, right? And that takes up we hours. We used to, dude. We Ooh, used to say, don't even look that stuff up. Kevin will let you know when somebody's doing that, and then you can go check it out. Whatever, De- what? No, Dave. <laughs> he does this whole video on me last week about how I know everything that's going on and I watch everything. And this week he's sending me stuff that he's getting ticked off about. And I'm like, dude, don't do this. You're you're the one who does it, not me. Who was it? I, someone said that they were taking a break from their phone. Uh, so uh, maybe it was a podcast I listened to, but they weren't going to use their phone in the bathroom for all of January. That was their New Year's resolution. <laughs> you better have a shampoo bottle laying around. Yeah, that's, that's what they, he's say. like. And, and the other guy's <laughs> like, the other guy's like, what? What do you do when you're pooping? He's like, I don't know, but for like. 30 years I was doing it without a phone. Like, I want to see what it was like. I forgot. I want to experience wanna, that again. I don't want to. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to, like, get into the recesses of my mind while I'm taking a poop. No. <laughs> I want to be distracted from I reality. Thought an, Thank I thought you. it was an interesting New Year's oh, resolution. Like, it's very, it's a unique New Year's resolution. I kind of like yeah, it. Yeah, like, that's a New cool. Year's resolution for somebody who doesn't think they got real problems to fix. <laughs> they should work gonna... on something important. They just got it. Well, listen, I, I'm telling you, though, that guy's going to poop way faster in January. Dude, he is. Yeah, he's going to be so time. bored in there. He's like, can yeah. I be done now? I got to go on my phone I know. And it's okay. in the other listen, room. This isn't reselling related, but we can kind of turn it into reselling related. What did you do yeah. before you had the phone in the bathroom? What was And comment down but below, guys. What did you do? It's good for eBay business. People can shop in there. They can go well, and scroll I just want to know. I want to know what did you do? You were alive for like 72 years before phones came out, Kevin. Me? What were you what did doing do? in the bathroom? It depends on where I was at. If I was at Give school, me an I was going to the bathroom, so I get back into the classroom. At your home, Kevin. Up. At your home. Would you read a book? What book no, would you read? I. Oh my gosh, why am I even talking about this? I would go to the bathroom. <laughs> I was. I was more like you, Dave. To one minute, and it's done. It's like yeah. in and out. I'm not well, sitting would, in the bathroom. Listen, I would read. Your legs Dilbert. fall asleep. I would read. And then you can't walk. You can't get Gilbert. Up. Calvin and Hobbs, Garfield, no, that. that's what I would I did read. Re- re- you don't have to, it doesn't newspaper. take long to read that. You can read a couple Dude, comics in a minute. Back my in phone the day, was USA dead. Today. Yeah. My phone was dead a little while back, and I just took a Beckett sports sports card pricing magazine, and I just checked <laughs> out what, what Michael Jordan cards were worth in 1997. That's what I did. <laughs> but, but did you notice, Three like, Three hours later, I knew a lot. I knew a lot <laughs> early <about> card values. <laughs> in the 90s, man, in the 90s, like, you always knew what your mm. friends did in there. Because you'd go in yeah. there and it'd be, like, a little magazine thing with Reader's Digest or the Geek magazine or National Geographic. You'd be like, oh, so you do that when you're just, like, a really, National Geographic. really, really <laughs> gross, a really gross CD player. I'm like, why are you listening to CDs while you're reading? That's weird. <laughs> Stop yeah, it. and you like, and then it's like a communal item that everyone's grabbing while they're exactly. taking a dump, and you're like, you why am I the... using their Reader's Digest? That's so gross. Do you remember like the shower in the bathroom, the shower radios that yes. were in there? I Those love not the worth shower much. radios. I bought no, one, and oh, it was but not worth I, much. I'm glad they're not worth much because I can hang them on my tree out there, and the rain doesn't affect them. I can just keep them hung in my tree, and I got a little radio. Oh, out there. Nice. You Good. Fancy boy. George Jones on Jones mm. on repeat. Yeah, they, they, uh, <laughs> there's all that sort, no sort of chair. stuff. 
I think like one of the biggest issues I had when I got back into reselling, and my mom still has it to this day, even with all the yard selling she's done with me, is this idea, this incorrect, correct uh, conception that like every old item is valuable. If it's old, it's valuable. That's my mom still. She'll bring me yep. some old garbage. She'll be like, Dave, this is old. So <laughs> here's... Okay, mom. Cool. <laughs> it's old. <laughs> it's exactly old. You're right. right. That's all it is. It's old. Yeah. <laughs> this, this glass is from 1977. It, it's, yeah. it, my, my dad is the same way. He's gotten yeah. a little better, though. And I've, I've taught him a few things that he does pretty good on. And one of them is the made in China thing. You know, it's like not that anything made in China is not, but. If you're looking at something and you think it's old and it's made in China, it ain't old. Well, it's got to say it Taiwan old. ROC. Korea, Japan. Yeah. What if it's yeah. like an antiquity Hong Kong? from China? Like yeah, I mean, stuff before old. that, of course, is made. I mean, obviously, we're you know we're talking that era. Like, I mean, China didn't even really open up till Nixon, for goodness sake. Mm. Yeah. History time. Let's go. There we go. Let's talk Nixon. Tell me about Watergate. Yeah. Was he, he the Watergate guy? Did he do, it? Did he, do <laughs> well. it? did he break in? No, yeah. it's G. Gordon Liddy. Yeah, was it Gordon Woodward Liddy. or Bernstein? Or was it... Uh, <laughs> yeah. you they were a, the reporters. You have oh, a soft cabbage patch. You have a soft cabbage patch behind you? I do, that Dave, that yeah. Where do you oh, that's that? why I was so bitter at that's the 301 when you to got say that. On a I'm podcast, limping Dave. out of the car. I can barely that's walk, also and Dave's like, all the way across there, and he comes back, he's like, is this worth any money? I'm like, dude. Because I just paid five bucks for it. Yeah, I just don't know. Yes, and you sold it. I did, and you know what's but you so know funny, what I saw there. Yeah. Uh, what? It, there's think? a bag full of old rabbits, and they're like oh, they look like they were nothing. <laughs> dead rabbits. And I bought them, there's and they went rabbits. for like seventy five dollars. Wow. That's and disgusting. so I was like, yeah, that's not bad. The problem with me is like literally two weeks later, I was at a yard sale, and I saw one of those, and I picked it up, the soft, soft sculpt cabbie, mm -hmm. and I put it back down and walked away. <laughs> Even though, like, I just never learn. I just can't. I'm incapable of learning. It's just like I'm incapable of memorizing faces, right? Like, I met some really nice people today. I really did. Uh, amazing people. I met Flippin' from the trailer, Carrie. You know him. He comes to the, the whatnots and stuff, right? Yeah, I know Kevin, the name. You recognize I don't know. the name? Like, yeah, I met I recognize him. recognize the name, he, yes. He honestly looks a lot like Kevin, to be <laughs> He really does. Oh, really? He's like another Kevin. But yeah. but I'm very nervous. Like, he's coming to our event. I'm, I'm nervous I'll forget what the face looked like because I just have terrible. face memory It gets good with voice. I was, I was at the card show today, and I was using Buddy so much. I'm like, all right, Buddy. Mm -hmm. Okay, Buddy, good to see you again. I've seen you at all nine right, card dude. shows. All right, dude. I know. I know you know Fella. me. I, have no, I mean, I know your face. <laughs> <laughs> but I have no clue what your name is. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, it was it was uh, it was a fun day though. Like literally, this Inhumanoids toy that we found. I'll send you guys a link. But it sells for like three hundred thirty dollars. Dude, Inhumanoids. I was looking because I had one toy. of those. I had Did one you? of those, and it didn't sell for that much because it's the one that isn't worth money. The Granok. Yeah, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't, I don't think I can put Inhumanoids. It. That's the it's one. 80s. It's not worthless, but it's like fifteen twenty bucks. Wow. Yeah, no, it was, it was pretty I cool. I want to see cool it. Thing. It was 80s. It's like right in your wheelhouse. Because I'm pretty good with seeing Once I've seen something and see I've picked it, it up, I is. see them all the time. You've probably seen this. Just I'll show you. I'll show you. I'll show okay. you. Talk amongst yourselves and I'll show you. All right. What was your favorite, about what's your favorite toy what? line from the 80s, Kevin? I love like, uh, do you remember, what are they, the ones, the battle beasts that had the holograms on the chest, the little tiny guys? I love yeah. those. Uh, I, it's. Uh, I'm not gonna. Yeah, probably dude. You don't remember years. Battle Beasts? Probably Thundercats. Whoa. Thundercats is good. That was a yeah. really good one. Oh, I, yeah. It was. It was probably Thundercats. I mean, I like GI Joe too. Motu, I love but I think too. it was Thundercats. But everybody liked him. Yeah, Motu. Was, everybody liked. I think I like Motu more than I like GI Joe. Pretty sure. But I liked Thundercats the best. I don't know why. I just didn't really watch that many of those cartoons. I really didn't. I don't know why. It's weird. Mumbra. There's like a big Mumbra difference, Mumbra though, because like... I was watching Darkwing Duck. Like, yeah, I got all my, cool. like, He-Man cool. stuff for my older brothers and people who were five, six years older than me. And then, well, Thundercats, go, those shows weren't out very it? long. They were out very... Yeah, I gotta look a little closer oh, wow. here. Do yeah, dude, I don't... Looks like... Wait a minute. Maybe I have... That's dope. Mm, no, I haven't seen See, that. See, the that one above it, though, is Granick. If you go above, big it's is the granite guy that How isn't big is worth it? much. Uh, he's How big. big. He's That's like 12, the one I 13 had. inches. The one the gr it's the one I had. Bigger than my okay. drink here. Yeah, I saw him and I was like, that is so cool. And I go grab him. She's like, oh, I can't sell that. I can't sell you that. I was like, okay. Mm. <laughs> but we, we ended up getting it. Rod got it. He he brought out his big again? bills. 
Uh, I don't, don't want to spoil it. I don't want to spoil it. Oh, That's for oh, his video. Okay. It's going to be a good video. You got to see it. She was a character. Pop Picker spoils all my videos. Rod spoils all my videos. I saw he dropped your Darn It Doll video. Yeah, I was dropped, like, wow. Both of them dropped well, it before. Kevin, you're waiting six them, months to drop your videos. What do you want people to do? What are you talking about? It's Not Jeff these dude. ones, though. These ones yeah. he just recorded. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But well, to be I'm fair, just, no one watched Mike's. No one no one watched Mike's. That is true. Let's be fair to Mike. Nobody's watching his content. <laughs> he's doing good over there he puts dave in the title and he does all right he does yeah Dude. it's weird his dave titles are better than uh i got a titles. number one because i just attacked j-ride in my thumbnail and my video i will say yeah, like j-ride and sunny so made your video watchable finally which is fine <laughs> yeah. you haven't liked my new style of me just being all goofy you don't I, like to be it? fair i haven't watched any of them including the j-ride one it oh. was just a joke i had written down for the show thank you for ruining it Carrie's about ready to take <laughs> off in 2024. It's the year of Carrie. It's the year I of Carrie. I hope so. I hope yeah. so. I, I mean, finally, I'm tired of it being. I'm, I don't want it paying. to be the 79th year of Kevin. You've had enough of them. I mean, had a lot of years. Of We're Kevin. still That's going up. Good point. I was looking. Dave got me looking at like how many, how much, how many video views, and we're still trick. You know, we're still going up. And I was down going massively way up. last year. I'm, I'm no, banned on Facebook for monetization, so that's fun. Who no, needed that just money? For part of it. Yeah, Facebook it's not like I, going it's nuts. not like you quit your job, Dave. It's not like I quit my job and need the money. I'm doing <laughs> fine, guys. You're a fake. <laughs> I'm doing awesome. Oh my god, doing <laughs> so <great>. fun. <laughs> I don't need my job back. People In constantly January. comment. People right. constantly comment saying, here. "That's how you know you, when." Uh, that's how you're when so you, much less is, happy since you quit. This is how you know you're a full-time reseller, content creator, um, and you're having a bad month. You start to check on the back of like cans, soda cans, to see how much you get if you uh, recycle I lost it. everybody. Is it me? Yeah. It's, it's you because we can still see you. Hopefully you don't yeah. say anything really weird. And Yeah, this is when he usually gets upsetting. Really... Yeah. yeah, he normally gets like, that. that's he's a good, like that's a good way to pause too. It looks like he's his made, first made thing part. he says every time is, "Oh, I lost the internet. My nipples burn." Like I don't know why. Yeah, that's like we don't know. We didn't even bring <laughs> up your nipples. I wanted to hear what Carrie was gonna say. You got to repeat it. I was like, "Oh, okay, bad timing." What happened? Oh, I Carrie, don't, what were you gonna say? To be honest, I don't have recollection of what I said ten <laughs> seconds ago. <laughs> I can't remember. <laughs> People do that you all said... the time. They're like, Carrie, that was funny what you said in the podcast. I'm like, I have no clue what I said in the podcast. You're guys. talking about YouTube. Zero. You were talking about like your I don't know. It was the Great. year. It's the, you've had so many years. You've oh no, it was Dave. Years. It was Dave. You were saying something about Dave, and Dave said he was feeling happy, and people or people said he didn't look happy. I can tell you right now, Dave is happier now. I guarantee. Well, no, that, that's you know what I'm saying. I like, you saying. start to like check your cans to see how much it is to recycle them because you're. There. Oh, yeah, like, you that gotta, wasn't even gotta, a really good yeah. joke. I'm it really wasn't a good joke. Repeat it. It. I realized that it halfway through, good. but I was committed, and that's how you tell a joke. You commit. <laughs> Dang it, we went through it twice too. That's really upsetting. We would go really when we the show down. The cans. You check the prices. I'm gonna get a laugh out of you. I would go check the prices. When I was a kid, it was all by weight. There wasn't yeah. no prices on the thing. So yeah, we would you just go. Had to, you would appreciate it at this, the penny candy store or When we needed money to buy 1987 tops, yes. we would get on our bikes and get our trash bag, and we would go every dumpster within, you know, two miles of our house, uh-huh. and we would get it and bring it to the recycling place, and we'd usually make two, three bucks, and we'd go buy our carts and a Slurpee. Most beautiful designed tops cards. I love the 87 wood grain. You know what would have been interesting? If you were one of the two people who actually bought the basketball cards that year. Yeah. Got yourself could. a few Michael Jordan mm-hmm. rookies. Because they couldn't yeah. give those away. You couldn't even find them. Anywhere, we didn't, you couldn't? Uh, I don't know. Maybe you could. I just didn't look. Well, yeah. That that could do it. <laughs> <laughs> well, so, I mean. Well, I didn't why, try. You did. Uh, a lot of that stuff when when Beckett, because I don't think Beckett had basketball in like 1987. Not until 89, 90. So when Beckett started to come out with their magazines, then the cards started to sell because there was no mm. real place to figure out what the other cards were worth. So it wasn't quite as fun to do it that way. That's the way I took it anyway. I think gotcha. that's it. Hey, listen, so, we have uh, almost half of our Patreons quit and we're all going bankrupt. So we need you to sign really up for half Patreon. of them quit. He's so full of crap. Oh, just pretend. So we're, we're going for pity Why did, we're going cut for that members. Why did you leave us? Dave's like, I'm not making Why did you leave Facebook. us? Yeah, my Facebook dried up, so guys, we need we need you to subscribe <laughs> to our but Patreon. Listen, have, 
everybody here's out what there... we can commit to you nothing in return but mm-hmm. we would appreciate mm-hmm. the donations since we <laughs> haven't talked about anything on ebay today which i i'm having a good weekend i want to talk about it but kevin, since we have i hate to i hate to interrupt actually i enjoy it greatly wait a minute, but i have I to get thank our wealthy as a, a kevin people you have to right, right can you ahead. let kevin finish we his have thought, to. Go ahead. we're no, contractually to required no he'll Stephanie get back to he has a little rude ke- go ahead. oh no time out you know he has it written on a, pre- a little notebook in front of him his little his little lisa frank notebook with all his little notes for the show so he's not going to forget it. That's the difference. They see, look at him. Look at him. He's pulling it out and everything. Uh, well, yeah. he's also pulling out his Is notebook. Is it Lisa Frank? <laughs> uh, I got this notebook <clears throat> at Flipcom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much. Order at use.com. CJ Ben's fine. Thank you, dealer. The flipper skipper. No nose picker. Remarkable. Brian Sampor Bill. Corey Superhero Feldman. First, first Vintage month, uh, sports member. flips. Thank ABC Matt, New Jersey picker. Ray Sekrisa. Logan Marker, Murky. And Biscuit Butt. Ray oh, Don the Chong. Is, do One of we the best shame actresses of the '80s? Thank you for joining. I on would like to shame the quitters. Are we allowed to shame the? Yeah, quitters let's shame. So we really okay. did have shame. quitters. Lady Arbitrage. Shame. Uh, Lady Arbitrage has left our membership, and I'm very upset at means, her. Dawn yeah. has quit our Patreon, <laughs> Carrie, and I'm very upset. I, I just want you to tell her right wow. before she comes I'm to my rocked. house. Like I'm not gonna be holding that grudge no. by the time you guys get here on Thursday. I think you, I think you're you wrong. You should tie. You should <laughs> chain up and lock the fridge. Don't even let mm-hmm. us in it. Or what if I your, charge your you thirty three for dinner? Thirty three dollars for dinner. <laughs> 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 and you know what's Shoot. cool is dinner comes with me motivating you. So it's it's a watch. <laughs> See, it's a it's a great deal. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kevin, do your thing. Your eBay thing. I'll drink it was an eBay. Life. That's my whole point. I said, since we have talked about it and we started talking about social media, if I, we gave some tips for trash for TikTok earlier, I figured. I love that his internet just went out. That is so Dude. perfect. <laughs> what great time! They, they've really got to get those chickens working in the back. It's there, his second it? time he's tried to make this point, and he didn't get to do it. <laughs> I hope it happens a third time. It'd be so See, good. This is so great. Like when the actual technology is against us. I just want you to know them. I could hear you. No. <laughs> All right, Kevin, make your big point. <laughs> <laughs> I removed him from the show. Did you really? <laughs> <laughs> He's he is pooping his depends right now. What is he doing? What is happening? Where is he going? What is What's happening? And he's showing What's his enemy. He's rage on? quitting. He's rage quitting the podcast. <laughs> Leroy Jenkins. Why he's just showing Edmund and he just left. Yeah, yeah, look at that. <laughs> look, he's just trying to sell merch. You can't quit the show Gosh. and sell sell exactly. merch. Exactly. He quit in the most Kevin way like, possible. I'm no. quitting, but I want to make some money out of it. <laughs> this is, well, you know what's crazy is he probably will uh, sell like twenty. <laughs> Come on, figure that out. <laughs> so my point is, Dave's been complaining for a year about he's like eventually facebook's just gonna stop it's just gonna stop mm-hmm. so if you want to mm-hmm. invest a ton of time in facebook just know that it might all come from to, to nothing i know tons and tons of people who do that and they just lose everything plus january yep. is the worst month ever for social media creators okay yeah Were you, did you have a point no i was trying to give some going social somewhere? media to, forget it let's talk about it anyway. well no but no you it just, is wait what I, mean, I was just true. trying to say like you, you were forgot getting into social something. media and you were talking about how your views are right down, now. which they're so not. So you're just trying you're to dissuade people from doing Facebook? Is that what you're saying? No, I just was trying to forewarn them that I know a lot of people who have started it, ramped it up, got it going, and then for nothing. Got got banned. Yeah, you're it's saying, almost right? it's like. Yeah, they ban though. a lot of people, yeah. yeah. It's almost like as resellers, we should actually get better at reselling. And hey, dude, hey, maybe make some money Whoa. on yeah, the I side. I will say, no, I will say, Dave's doing I good. Totally, I'm doing good, Carrie. Yeah, maybe I you should totally, get good at reselling. I'm talking about myself. Let's <laughs> not, let's not hold our breath. Myself. <laughs> let's not hold our breath. No, I, I honestly get it. I really get it. In the beginning, I didn't really understand the people who like have decent YouTube channels and then quit for reselling more hardcore. But then I put like more time since I quit my job into reselling, and I see how much yeah. opportunity for money. money there is in reselling. It's Absolutely. like, eh, well, you know, I will I just say this: doing this and went all in on reselling. It's I will say crazy. this: like, I have focused more in the last month, month and a half, on better items on eBay, and they sell about as fast as my dollar fifty cards did. Yeah. Except now I'm not making a dollar fifty. I'm making like making 30 three bucks. or four Del Taco runs money. Yeah. You know what I'm talking? Yeah. And yeah. emphasis on the runs. Dude. Because yes. if you're going to Del I have Taco, them right now, it's going actually, in and it's going Taco straight Bell. out. 
I have 40 sales, $2,032 this weekend. Wow. Wow. I, I don't know. Dude. My Mercari is insane right now. I'm selling as much Mercari, on Mercari wow. as eBay right You're now. You're the first it's human weird. to ever say that. My Mercari Dude. is insane right now. I am telling wow. you, Carrie, Mercari, with the kind of stuff you sell, you would do well. You know what Dude, you should I'm... use is Vendu. No, I've had a couple big sales on Mercari, but mm-hmm. I haven't posted. I just I have a hard time cross-posting. But do use American Arbitrage 30 for 30% off your first <laughs> month of List Perfectly. <laughs> Why is 30% it that? Why can't it just be American I Arbitrage? 70, 30, I can't speak straight. I'm tired from all no, the No, but why gaming. can't the code just be American Arbitrage instead of the 30? Like what? I yeah, seriously. American Arbitrage 30, but like I also am not American Arbitrage sure. isn't long enough. Kevin, yeah, I sold the two VCRs on Macari nothing. today. Two nice. VCRs on Macari today. Really? Nice. Yeah, Macari. Yeah, today I have one, two, three. Uh, hold on, four, five. I have uh, seven sales on Macari today. Nice. Seven. Wow. It's That's crazy. really it's good. Stuff. It's golf clubs. It's puzzles. It's lighthouses. It's plush. It's it's everything. It's it's. What's like hey, the I'm hottest selling guys, item? It's not bad. Hmm? What's I the sold... hottest selling item on Bonanza? Like cap gun? Dude, I had three more sales on Bonanza. Cap well, blasters. Dude. It's crazy. Bonanza is... <laughs> I, I, it blows my mind sometimes. It's I'm a like, Bonanza over happening? there, guys. Somehow, you know what I think, literally, Cap? Kevin is the only one selling anything. We all have our stuff he listed there. single-handedly. Somebody down below keeping that website sold afloat. something on Bonanza this week. This is why I think he owns Bonanza. Like, he I just owns secretly. it. Secretly. He secretly it's not owns even secret it. And, at this point, yeah. it's fairly obvious. <laughs> if I owned it, don't you think I'd pump it more than I pump it? That is fair. That is fair. I mean, I don't own my reseller genie, but I pump the heck out of it because they're amazing. You know. Hey. So not yet. Who knows? Someday. Maybe. Florida, yeah. Florida Georgia Pickers commented on my uh, YouTube today and said, "Why don't you tell people you are going to sell their stuff instead of lying and saying it's for your daughter or a friend in Vegas?" Oh, but do you lie? See, are you I saying it's for that. your friend in do Vegas? You lie? I did. I got to. I me. got. I did. I did actually get Don something. I think in that video, oh, but then uh, and I proceeded it. to sell it yeah. anyways. <laughs> there you go. I got there her the go. four the four Golden Girl Funkos, and I was like, she probably already has them, and so I just sold them. <laughs> she definitely doesn't would have loved those, but that's fine. <laughs> but I did literally think I would give them to her at the that's... at that sale when I bought them. I was convinced I was going to give them to. Then greed kicked in. Yeah, <laughs> I had to do that. I remember buying it's like some... a forty dollars set, right? I remember yeah, that's it. I saw what they were worth, and I was like, yeah, I, I don't like it that much, you know. <laughs> <laughs> she quit I... our Patreon after all. Is... But you weren't lying. I mean, you were being honest. That's what you thought. I was maybe. honestly yeah. intending have... to buy them for Dawn. I have definitely made up fake. Ch- I've talked about this before. I've made up. <laughs> A fake children me and Don have that we bought were buying stuff That's for. I terrible, felt bad dude. and st- and I did stop doing that yeah, mostly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know Your in the right situation. Oh actually Tina commented and said that thing that he bought he actually gi- did give to our daughter. So I guess I did say something I bought something else. for our daughter yeah. and gave it to her in the video. I don't know if I said this on I do it all the time. Podcast. I always buy stuff for but dude, it's so crazy to imagine that everything we buy at yard sales is for sale. Like a lot of stuff I buy is for my family or my kids mm-hmm. or for myself to keep. Like, I don't just buy – like, there's so many good deals out but there. Here's the if deal. I want an extension cord, I don't do go to Do you put up a comp for it? Because that's when people get yeah. all screwed. Because yeah, I'll put up, put up a comp for comp. it. I mean, I buy Why stuff not? and I give it to my kids all the time, but I'll put the comp up on there. Yeah, I put the comp so people know that I got a good deal. Yeah. It's not all about reselling. It's about getting good then deals, Then they're like, too. DSOB sold it, right? But they yeah. can't tell the comps. Do you use your comps when you've no. sold the item? Uh, yes, I try to. Yeah. Oh, if, I, if I've sold it, if I've sold it, I use my comps. If I haven't sold it yet, then I use some. A lot of times, though, I haven't even listed it yet. Mm-hmm. Uh, I like how I, use... I like how I got this other comment that says, "Wow, a grown man who doesn't know squat about tools or sports and buys dolls and toys." You just <laughs> described Dave yeah, perfectly. That's me. That's it's literally me. User B two seven. Oh, I've had that, dude. I've had that. I don't know. It was the same person, but I've had that comment before too. Because I sold some tools, sold some wrenches, but. I, I feel like Dave, time. you're the handiest of the three of us, though. Like, I feel like if something was broke, you'd have the best chance of fixing it out of the three of Depends us. Depends on what it was, but I think you're 100 percent right. I did have someone reach out to me during a live, and they asked me to unban them from my channel. Ooh. They said, "Hey, you banned me from your other channel." I can't remember where this was. I was live on something. He's like, "You banned me from your other channel. Can you unban me?" I don't know what I said, but blah, blah, blah. I think he thought it was because he said something about ads or something, right? Too many ads. And mm-hmm. I was like, eh, it's not usually a bannable offense on my channel. Like, oh, it depends on what ads. mood you're in, Dave. 
uh, but I don't uh, I don't remember banning anyone for too many ads. So I imagine he said something else. But then I literally just went to my held for review and I see like three flagged comments from the same person <laughs> that I never even saw because he's just making fun of me three different times. I'm like, I think that maybe you got banned for something else based on this. I don't think How many really people are you banned? Uh, I think I have like 12 banned or something That's like it? that. I think okay. you can see it. It's not many. That's probably like Paul. Paul. Paul has like Zero 40 banned. One. Yeah. Uh, Somebody. Well, yeah. I mean, listen. You get banned if you talk about my kids in a negative yep. way. Automatic. You know, instant banned. Uh, that's that's a really quick way to get banned. And yeah. uh, Tina if you also say will, something like, bad about me, up, figure you out get where you live. Hard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So, so you don't have that many banned then? Okay, I thought I was under the impression no, that you I'm would sure ban a lot more. It. I don't. I don't ban too many, but every you know, if it's I mean, the same it's comment that... over and over again that's not right, or they're accusing me of something, and it's like I've made the argument before multiple times, like I don't want to have to continue to do this then i'll do yeah. it or if they do something like he's like talk about it. that's about I, it i don't know too i, I mean, let tina has their tina has a ban hammer too yeah, tina has a ban hammer too so she can ban anything too. shady yeah, she, yeah it's possible yeah yep, my exactly. wife would never look at my comments <laughs> she'd be like yeah i don't care wouldn't matter yeah she doesn't care i well, sold okay so let's talk i sold something for from uh, day one of the florida sales today dave i sold a a, a peacock a glass peacock. I had no idea what it was worth. I really? picked it up for like a couple bucks. Is that? It's five hundred. How much you sell it for? Fifty bucks. Say? Fifty bucks. Oh, they said five hundred. I said five hundred, but I, I was reading it and it was. Oh, okay. I read it wrong. Gotcha. Fifty bucks. Con- congrats on that eBay sale. I haven't. This even one right here, actually. Look, I got it for you. Here, sitting right here. Here it is. Oh, show us your peacock. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's quite like the glass? peacock you have. Mm. Hey, check this out, Dave. This is old. <laughs> this is old. Oh, my gosh. It must yes, be worth it's millions. It's been sitting here, I think, for three <laughs> yeah. years. It's old, Carrie. It's old. Three years. No. It's old. Well, it's old you in gotta the make world, it it's old the thing. Shelf. you got to make it. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. It's worth so much. <laughs> it holds up. It holds up. I will up. give you $500 for it? that. Yeah. Somebody buy this. I don't even know if it's in my store. Okay. Made in Hong Kong. Well, I I want to... I want to talk about a subject, but I don't really want to talk about the subject, but I think I will Uh-oh. anyways. I just got to tread Good. carefully. There we go. Okay. Okay. And I'm talking about Kevin the and podcast about that will probably, never be but... mentioned again. No, no, no. This oh. is about my video that I had to take down because people have been asking, today. you know, what happened? Mm-hmm. Did you? Was Do you remember the video? I told you? It was on, t- it was on Facebook. Do you remember the video I told you about a year and a half ago? I made it on the podcast and I said, I bought a PS3 backwards compatible and, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. and she's like, yep. yeah, and I'm like, how about 40 bucks for something? And there's like hundreds of games and whatever. And this was like filmed in 2019. Well, it somehow got into the rotation and people were just mm. crucifying me. I took it off of TikTok and both of you yelled at me. You're like, you're an idiot for taking that on TikTok because it was going nuts. Yes. Yes. But people were yeah. yelling at me and I'm like, dude, you don't understand the context here. This was 2019. <laughs> No, that's you posted on TikTok. This was then you 2019. Don't return to TikTok. You no, don't, this don't was, answer anything. It, Kevin's it. like Kevin's like you don't understand the the context. This was before I was trying to impress people online. No, this is when dude, I was just no, a no, dirtbag no. reseller. PS3, dude, <laughs> TikTok is not a place for context. It, just post those and things post weren't and run. selling for a quarter of what they're selling for now. Before it was COVID yeah. that boosted all that. Dude, those games were worthless back then. PS3 sports game. Yeah. I mean, they're still worthless, but I mean, it was. I was thinking, you know, I got three of these in my thing here. What do I want to do with it? But whatever. All right, go ahead and tell your story. You yeah. took a video down. I took a video down because everyone was uh, crucifying a very nice person who did great things oh, for me. Yeah, like, yeah, let me go to this yeah. private pick and even after me really you well, and me. I had an amazing time. And I literally, so I post this, and everyone like starts destroying this really nice person in the comments and so i take the video down i add two minutes of context because like carrie said context is king and so i do two minutes of like context at the beginning saying hey i really enjoyed this she took care of me she you know made sure to to that she's gonna take care of me in the end like all this other stuff right everything that is wrong in this video is my own mistakes this video is pointing out mistakes I made, not the person, and they still mm-hmm. were just destroying her. And, like, mean, mean stuff. Like, crazy mean stuff that makes no sense. And I just 
would plea that people please be kind of <laughs> like, why? seriously man why? why do we have to be it's so kind of like people? That. i had to take the video down because it was so mean it's crazy i don't know it's like that crazy schoolyard thing if you don't have anything nice to say right don't say anything at all i'm constantly reminded of that because i get tiktok's the worst maybe facebook yeah real you should have been worst. a teacher day like You'd it's just constant teacher. Because there's always that kid mm-hmm. in the room that you just like, you got to protect them, right? And well, not that she yeah, needed protecting, yeah. but in that context, she did because you don't have the whole story. So, yeah. But it yeah. is brutal. Sorry, Carrie, what were you saying? Kevin interrupted you very oh, rudely. Gosh. No, I was, I'll be honest, no clue what I was talking about. <laughs> <laughs> this is, everybody loves Carrie. Nobody brain. knows why. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to think, but we don't have time. This podcast is not one where we just sit in silence for seven. No, you know what? I I actually I had a similar thing where I had this. This happens a lot in the show. Like I had this uh, thought. There was someone recently. I can't remember what sale it was. Where I was trying to buy something, and basically she just begged me to take the item. She knew that it was worth like way more, and she's like, "Just take it. It's it just brings back bad memories of my husband who passed." (laughs) And she just wanted it gone. And so I thought that was. I, I thought that was really interesting though. Like she didn't like give it away. She she took money, but she did not care. She's like, I know it's worth way more. I just want it out of the house. Like, and it was so, for some reason this item had a. Yeah, I don't know if they had a good relationship. Yeah, but I just thought that was kind of interesting. Like I that did. it brought back, or maybe it was like just a, a powerful like loving memory that it just depressed her to see it. Like, well, yeah, like some of the best yard sales you can go to is when like somebody yes. breaks a divorce. I was, I was yeah, just like, gonna say, yeah, you know. Ooh. You could have his Mustang for a quarter. Dude, seriously. Sure. Yeah. And I'm going to tell him I sold it for a quarter. This, yeah. oh, but this lady was just like open about it. She was telling everybody at the start yeah. sale as they walked up. It's like, this is all my ex and my ex husband stuff. Just make an offer. I want it out of here. So I, I want to make this money before he comes back and gets it and stuff. I'm like, this is nuts. Wow. Oh, it was crazy. But I still bought it, I guess. Does that make me a bad person? Somebody else is going to buy it, right? right? Yeah. Well, you know, sometimes, <laughs> sometimes somebody else's misery is a blessing. Yeah. To you, as you just found yeah, but she sold yeah. like yeah. History Channel stuff, which is basically the motto of Vegas. Which is yeah, that really <laughs> is the motto. What's the motto? The, the motto, motto of Vegas. Vegas. Which... Someone else's mm. misery is mm. your benefit, basically. Like yeah. we have, we have like quite a few like sports card people here in Vegas, like that do sports card Instagram, and a lot of them do gambling as well. And I watch that content because they mix it in with sports cards. They just lose all the time. I'm like, what are you guys doing? <laughs> Like, what is the point of this? Like, you guys are losing substantial amounts of money. Dude. All of I the think I, it's I think not, I did it wrong, but I, I used to, to gamble quite a bit. I used to play poker quite a bit. I played poker every weekend for, like, or every week for, for, for years. Just, just uh, Texas Hold'em. And I got to the point where, and I was, I was good at it, so I made money. But I got to the point where I'm thinking, it was Friday night, and I'm like, if I'm staying up till 1, you 2 in the paid. morning... I mean, to make, you know, a $300 pot or something. I'm like, I, I'm like, I need to go to bed because if I can get up half an hour earlier, I'll make way more money. So it was picking. And when I started to ramp that up and depend on that, that's what got me to stop playing poker because I'm like, I'm not staying out all night. Yeah, but then you kind of lose like the bad boy edge of being a poker no, guy. But that's why you got the yeah. tattoo. And yeah, then you Texas hold. It's not like gambling at a casino, y'all. It's not like doing that. It, Texas yeah. hold them if you're playing no, in played, a house game. I played with my kids this week. Yeah, it's not. Yeah. It's, it's, it's highly illegal, Kevin. No, it's, it's highly illegal. Tell us more about this oh, crime please. committed Te- of gambling. Dude, playing t- uh, gambling. Texas Hold'em house game. Was this regulated game? gambling? Were you guys yeah. made exchanging you have money? A years. You play... Yeah, this was at a, were they serving wow. liquor at this establishment? <laughs> <laughs> hey, when you guys come up here, Carrie, you might like it. Actually, you guys probably wouldn't like it. But not too far away in Franklin County. You know, they, have you ever seen or heard of Moonshiners? Well, you, you saw it. No, yeah, Moonsh- we went no, there, no, we went to a different place. place you took me but to Moonshiners, that TV show, there's a... <laughs> Moonshiners and bootleggers a, in his this is, <laughs> it's where it all started. <laughs> it's where it all started down there. And uh-huh. then Martinsville and NASCAR and all that stuff. But they had they have a speakeasy. Okay. You walk into this room, it's like a barber shop. But it's not a barber shop. And you go behind and you... It's like a, is this a swinger no, thing? No, it's or? not a swinger thing. You go and you pull okay. the cigarette okay. machine out and you walk in and it's a speakeasy behind the, behind the cigarette machine. That's pretty cool. Yeah. It'd be cool. <laughs> Dave wouldn't like it. You'd like it. Don Don would love it. I, would, I would like it. Don would love <laughs> it. Was it. Yeah. Cool. Take Don. Yes, I'll go. Don and then would get Dave can just, with you, It's Kevin. all... I mean, yes. they got it all. It's good stuff. It's good. So it's just a cool little bar. So... So... 
uh, the, the my favorite line, I don't know why I thought of this, but from that video that I had to take down, one of my favorite lines was her husband is from Boston. He has a really strong Boston Gashed. accent. And I said, oh, you're from Boston. I can tell from your accent. He's like, what are you talking about? I don't have an accent. The country started in Boston. Everyone else has the accent. <laughs> and I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. That's a fun line. How do you like them apples? <laughs> I, like I like that, it. though. He's probably said it <laughs> yeah, a thousand times, he was a f- I know. It's, it's hey, practice, but it was... You know you're, like, from a fun. big city when you have, like, catchphrases that everybody knows around the, the nation. It was, such a, it was such a fun pick, fun video, and it's gone. It makes me a little sad, but whatever. Cherry, I sold... What are you I'm looking for, Kevin? I'm trying to find what I sold. Uh, it's probably in the back. He's here. trying to see who farted. I was going to show it to Kerry. <laughs> He's like, who just farted? It smells no, like... No, uh, when I went to... <laughs> <laughs> that was definitely me. <laughs> <laughs> I went to... I got an air freshener back there. I went to <laughs> Sabres <laughs> with you, Kerry. And toilet paper. <laughs> if it's a little squirty, you know, you see, <laughs> Just in case. you see all these thrift stores out there, and like a lot. all these like walls full of toys and walls full sharted. of plush and whatever. We don't have that here. We got like here's your six plush to choose from. But when I went to Savers, there's a wall full of toys and a wall full of plush, and I pulled down a Snoopy Camp Snoopy plush, and I bought it there for a few bucks, and it sold for thirty three bucks. I love your thrift stores out wow. there, man. There's stuff. Like you see Jay riding all these people, and it's like those we don't have yeah. those. I don't have those. There's nothing. Have like you seen that like the if you watch like like the DI videos are insane. Like especially in Utah, it's like three rows of like twenty yeah. feet long, three yeah. shelves. And watch so, like yeah, retro yeah, toy and being like, it's because all these places they're not. Out you got to remember, and Vegas is kind of Mormony too. But like Mormons have mm-hmm. a lot of kids, so yeah. there's yeah. a lot of pluses yeah, being there's... donated. There's none in my town, but there is a thrift store not too far from me, and actually Tina was near it yeah. on Saturday, Ooh, and I the, said, hey. The honey hole that yeah, we cannot yeah, tell yeah. anybody about? I yeah. said, Tina, I said, Tina, can you just run to the thrift store and grab me, like, five bags of plush, and they're $5 for a bag? And she brought them home. She didn't even, like, try, and, like, each one Dude, you of them don't even had have, some That place is so it. good. You, I don't even think you have to. Like, there's such big bags. You don't even have to away. look at them. You can yeah. just take them all. <clears throat> yeah, you never But know. then you're leaving none for the people who need them. Which like, is not right. Oh, wait, you're so just right greedy there. like that. Well, no, I mean, listen, one bag, and no one would believe it, but we bought for my daughter, and she kept the whole bag. It was all Squishmallows for five bucks. A bag of Squishmallows. For five, and this is a big Dude, bag. That's like, insane. Probably 15 Squishmallows Dude, for could five you bucks. imagine, would you pass out instantly if there was a bag of Fugglers? <laughs> just oh, like, my would you gosh. Just, I would just, yeah, I would, I would fall on the floor. I would, I would poop my pants, fall on the floor. I would. They, they call that the Commonwealth, when you poop your pants and fall on <laughs> the floor. Why is Vegas make Mormon-y? A, yeah, you'd make a I want to know why Vegas is mormon <laughs> It seems like the last place. Dude, it was, I think Mormon... Or, you would think so, yeah, but I think Las Vegas was initially settled by Mormons uh, back in the okay. old days. And there's a ton yeah. of LDS yeah. people in, in the, in the uh, suburbs. Obviously not so much on the Strip. A lot of the people who work on the Strip are Mormon, believe mm. it or not, historically and still to this day. Mm. So so here's a, a reselling topic, sort of. I had a, an ornament from Disney World. And when I first comped it, it was like a $70 ornament. And I had it listed for a very long time. It never sold. Finally got a message and said, hey, I really need to see the left side of this. And it's not in your pictures. That's how I'll know if it's real. Can you send me a picture? And I sent a picture and he instantly Mm. bought it. And I'd now lowered the price like 40% from my original price. And I think it's just because I didn't have the pictures right. And so any any thoughts? That reminds me. It is an ornament from Disney. Kevin, you got any thoughts on that? I feel like that's a real nerdy reselling thing you could talk about. I don't know. There's photos obviously and something quality. on the left side of the ornament the that tells you if it's real or not. I don't, there you go. I don't know. But I yeah. had some. It actually just said, this is real. <laughs> <laughs> I probably should have taken a picture of that. A, <laughs> it just said, this is real. I wrote it with like one of those silver pens. The price for you. <laughs> this is real. <laughs> <laughs> uh, guaranteed. I had, what did it remind I, you well, of? Well, I don't want to give it away because it's going to be a video, but I put it on the Discord today. And... I had somebody do open a return request and say how this was a fake item, and they literally wrote pages, pages of just ridiculous, like, nonsense. I'm like, what in the world? Just ripping on everything. I mean, getting into politics, all of it. And they wanted to return because I gave them a fake. It was Jesus. It was a Jesus Funko Pop that was fake. And I'm like, wait a minute. I just shipped this thing out. And I looked at it. It, it hadn't even arrived yet. It hasn't even got to him yet. Hmm. It's not going to get there for three more days. And they opened a return request on it, did all this, and sent pictures. Like, we, I think it's a troll. It's got to be a troll. Got to be somebody that's doing really? this. Really? Did you know? 
I heard that or I can't remember who told me, but someone told me recently that the the baby Jesus always gets stealed out, stolen out of nativities yeah. at thrift stores. Did you know that? It's worth money. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. That's terrible. Yeah, who that's would do thing? And I looked it up. There's literally a yeah. whole Wikipedia page on it. Theft well, of baby Jesus. And everybody goes and posts so the yeah, Jesus that they that, stole. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. It's like a thing. It's like a trend. It's kind of kind of crazy. Do you guys remember a couple years ago, um, Space Jam, the new Space Jam came out and they were yeah, selling LeBron. those LeBron that James bust. figures that mm-hmm. had the heads that like, yeah, the head was like outside of the package and everybody was just stealing the head off. Of <laughs> what? Did... Um, oh, and, I don't remember No, that, it was no. it was everywhere. Every Walmart I went to was just filled with these figures because they had it open where you could like, like those tumblers. Wow. People were just Are those tumblers still going for stupid money? Yeah. Dude, so someone was posting, I was trying to talk about this earlier, but someone posted in the Discord like... This auction currently for that thing at thirteen thousand. I'm surprised Rockstar Flipper had real. made a video. Like if you, if you go to the yeah. solds, it's really selling for like three hundred. But what you know what Rockstar did make a Flipper video or whatever How video about was my whole issue. No, about my whole issue where where eBay was doing the oh yeah taxing. It was literally my oh, problem. Yeah. And he said it's happening to him and a bunch of other people right now. And he said he walks you through how to fix it. Now, mind you, I didn't watch it because I think mine's fixed. <laughs> I did but... watch that video. I did watch the video Kevin's talking about where it felt kind of like he was trying to motivate himself <laughs> yeah, to fix his remote. That's, 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 exactly what that's I the vibe of that really? video. I was like, is he trying yeah. to motivate himself? He's yeah. like, He's like I, I can make hundreds of thousands of dollars on these remotes. <laughs> if only I list them. <laughs> I saw it too. But, but like can he make – I have a question. Like, can he make a hundred thousand well, on a no. powder? This is alleged, by the way. I, I don't know if we allegedly. Well, what what remote? Check out railroad they? pickers. See if he's doing good. Because here's the thing. He's, I bought. Yeah, dude, I bought three. Picker, by the way, Shout I out. bought three bags of remotes <laughs> at that sale, and I was like all excited. This was the the swinger sale where there was nothing. <laughs> so I bought three bags of remotes. Okay, like you might want to. You might want to um, sanitize those remotes. By the way. Yeah. Nine. Oh, they, they were. You had a gay lord of remotes. So ninety percent of them. <laughs> Yeah, ninety percent of them had battery acid stuff going on. And you bought them already. And then even when I cleaned, well, yeah, because it was <laughs> open bag them up. This is Dave them. buying stuff. This is Dave. It was like thirty bought them. remotes. I was. I'm moving. I'm moving. It was like five anymore. bucks for both for the. It was five bucks for all of them. Okay, so it wasn't a real big risk, guys. Okay, and I did find like two that were worth twenty bucks, but uh, all the other ones were worth like five to fifteen dollars, which I don't list. Yeah. And so I, I just have a hard time believing he has 100, unless they're all tempur mattress remotes. Like, how does he have 100,000 I don't know. It, I remotes? think he said, like, Harmony. he could make hundreds of thousands, 100,000 in a year. I mean, you can make, I've sold stuff. remotes I don't really understand. When I used to thrift, I'd buy a bunch well, of them. Well, theoretically, but, yes, you can make $100,000 selling almost anything a year if you sold enough My dog it. chews up remotes all the time. I got to go buy them. I mean, people got to buy remotes. But... I don't know. Yeah. I, I used to buy I, the last time I bought remotes was at a there's this charity sale and they take all the stuff that gets donated and they take all the remotes and put it in a bin in a bucket and tell anybody who buys something that they can go pick out a remote. I'm like, I don't think that's how it works. And so towards the end of the sale, I just ask them, can I buy the bucket? Because nobody takes the remotes. They don't bother looking. I'm like, can I buy the bucket? And they'll sell me the bucket. And then there's, you know, half of them are worth selling. But they're yeah. not. I don't sell yeah. too many Riveting. remotes anymore. I mean, my my thing now, like, I'll buy them all. I'll, like, try to find some that are worth 25-ish, and then I'll just bundle the next seven or eight up and just put yeah. them on whatnot. As Nothing, well. There's not a sexier listing. By the way, there's not a sexier listing on eBay than a bundled remote lock. <laughs> no, no, I do it on whatnot. I, I do it on whatnot to resellers. I do it on whatnot to resellers. So, like, I just did it. your audience. You give I them did, the crap. I, the man, I will say. Crap. I will say, well, no, a lot of I people know, don't man. mind listing five dollar items, and I test to make sure they all work, and then I sell them in a big bundle. So here's the How thing: if I have ten five dollar remotes uh, with the whole yeah, camera yeah. trick, where you pull I out your camera and you push that. a button and you see mm-hmm. that, yeah. But but no, if you you know it's ten remotes that are worth five bucks a piece or ten bucks a piece, and you sell it in a, a whatnot auction for twenty six bucks, and you paid three bucks for the bag, that's fine. Why do you look sh- shocked? You because if math. there's ten of you're selling ten of them for fifty bucks and somebody's paying you twenty six dollars for them. No, I said if you if they're worth five to ten yeah. a piece and there's ten of them, that means fifty to to a hundred dollars worth mm-hmm. of remotes, and you sell them for like twenty five yes. bucks on whatnot. Who would pay twenty five dollars for nickel. fifty to? I wouldn't do that. Yeah, who's who? uh, people on yeah, whatnot? Well, that's who. 
<laughs> Sorry, I just did it. I, I believe did it, you. So it happens. I believe you. <laughs> right, Kevin, that's the funniest question coming from you, selling things for like twice what yeah. it's worth on eBay on your whatnot. I'm not selling them to... <laughs> Though, if I'm not selling singles, <laughs> just like we'll sell hats, you know, I sell a lot. Somebody got a great deal on a box of hats the other day for me. Insane deal. No, no, don't try to say that you're giving out great deals. We've been to your auction. Yeah, I'm not questioning I've Dave never seen a great deal. on this. I'm questioning yeah. the thought process of buying a, a bag of remotes for $26. We were just talking about people that, you that, know Dave's that will buy for t- well, and I tell them, I say they're all tested, but they're under $15 you also have to value remember, each. Dave, Dave picked through them, though. I it's Dave. It's not mm. you, Kevin. It was Dave. So there's mm-hmm. going to be gems in there. Yeah, because I'm going to be several valuable ones. remotes in there. <laughs> but he's got the Tempur Pedic uh, ones. The sleep number ones. Uh, yeah, he, he does. does. He Harmony knows that, that one. Number. That one he knows. And some Harmony? Denon ones. Yeah, still, I sold so one on There's still a lot of remotes that, that sell really good. It's just, I don't know. I just sold the Harmony and whatnot for 20 bucks or something like that. Yeah, I, actually, if I, I went to look at my sales for eBay, and it's all like electronic stuff it from is. that private yeah. pick. Except you sell electronic electronic We're now. in the death pile now. Yeah. You're the, weird stuff's coming you're the yeah. You're Florida. You're the Osborne to thrift of Florida now. I sold I know. Well, a Geiger yeah. counter for $200 plus shipping, but I've had it forever. So we finally got that top, top layer gone. Dave, you know about it. You do this because you're back in that storage container and you haven't so that stuff's been there for years right and so yep. once you get past yep. that first layer you start to pull and you're like holy crap and so that's where we're at we're at we're at that level pulling out that stuff it's like Phew, i can't even believe i still have this thing and there's they're selling it's selling list your death pile. yeah yeah no See, it's it's crazy you pull i can't sort of like, boom wow, box I for 80 bucks money. it's probably been in there for a year you know it's just you finally, I love it. I'm going to sell everything. I'm getting my end of February, but my goal is by the end of February that that shed is going to be, it's not going to be empty, but it'll, you know, pretty much be empty other than stuff that's coming in. What about your storage? Mm. Your storage container will never be empty. Other than the stuff that's in. Well, but I'm just yeah. saying there's going to uh, be something in it still. I'm going to, I'm going to, I want to do another auction from the container, like end of January or something. Um, it's pretty busy with the event. Mojo wants to go and dig it. You know, what's, what's their next live? I'm going to go on there. Let's do on Saturday. Whenever, dude. It's, you can oh, go hey, I'm going on one. St- oh, two things. Jocelyn approved me. So I'm selling Come glass. On, I'm going to be selling glass. I've got a shed full of glass. I'm so glad she approved me because yeah. I don't want to list it on eBay. I'm going to sell that over there on knickknacks, and then I'm going to sell... I have boxes and boxes of T-shirts, hats, and Harley stuff, and I'm going to sell them in big boxes over on One Stop Shop. Saturday, I think, I'm going to hmm. sell it. Who's going to buy that, Kevin? Who's going to pay $26 for $50 They're not going to pay hats. $26. A, it's going to be worth more than $50. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> I bet you the profit margins that you get are very similar to what I just No, with my dude, remotes. I sold I sold that, comic that you were books, Dark get. Toy Lord and Oh, did you figure out what the key was in that? He sold a lot of comics that went for like 150 bucks. Was there a key in there? He had Transformers. It was the number, is the number two, one Transformer Transformers in there. And the condition is not great on it, but it's still oh, there was a number it one. It should okay. still sell. But that the key number one is only worth like 40, I thought on Transformers. No, mm, dude. Well, I, I looked it up after like the 10 fact. To 15, $20 there was comics some good. That there, dude. Yeah. There's, there's. It all depends on if somebody wants to grade these, right? But ungraded, I think he's got five to six hundred dollars worth of comics bought for hundred and fifty bucks, something like that, off of me. Well, that's awesome. And mm. also in the one that. Well, that's because it was on Dibbed It. That's right. On. There's de- I'm telling yeah. you, people. There's yeah. deals. The power of if you go to the right. <laughs> the power of Dibbed It for the seller to lose money. <laughs> Exactly. No, I'm d- hey. nobody loses like the sellers on Dib did apply to them. <laughs> Dib did Dude, whatever. Did you see Mike? People are doing good. I saw watch one on Knickknacks the other day. Mike, they Mike are. called me after and he said, "Yeah, it went like just about the same as a whatnot auction. I didn't do any better." Yes, but oh, I that's what he said. That did you mention review. to Mike it's better though because no, I was us like, three dude, are making money? No, no, no. no. I was like, better. dude. I was like, dude. I've watched. I, I, I was thinking, dude. I've watched your whatnots. They don't go that no, well. Maybe, but he's yeah. convinced that it went just as well as there's no way. I've I've watched his I whatnots. must have missed his it's recent exactly whatnots. Right. They... I totally yeah. agree. Right. Well, you know what the difference is? You know, Kevin, I figured out what the mm-hmm. difference is. In his whatnots, you and I That's pity exactly buy everything. Right. But this time, nothing. he was selling stuff for the same uh, amount, and we weren't mm-hmm. buying it. That was That's the difference. exactly right. You got it. So it was a win for me. That really <laughs> I didn't is have to the... buy this stuff. I, I've kind of mastered this. You guys haven't. The real trick of Dibbed It is us not buying everything. <laughs> but See, I've like done really good because I don't buy much. Dave buys everything. 
I did. I was the number two spender in that raid train last Sunday. I was the number two Mm. spender. Uh, what'd so you yeah. what'd you say you called me and you're like dude we each made eleven dollars <laughs> and i spent 173 <laughs> <laughs> yeah pretty much but yeah, look max profits you just sell some it better be profs. on this show it's not profs it's profs, profs. please it's matt profs, profs like pursuit. professor yeah like he, he's a professor mm, of professor science. of profits and somebody else <laughs> <It> seems obvious <laughs> when you read it I love, how many people hey what's the last person you approved to sell over there i'm, I'm curious carrie was the last person you did when's the last one you looked at about um, two weeks ago uh gremlin 26 i mean what is wrong with you two stuff I did this uh, every I time I approve it. someone. Kevin talks trash I, to me and says, "Dave approved this person. Them. They're listing the wrong type of items." Yeah, we've so every yeah, time I approve had, someone, I get yelled at. So I'm like, I'll just let I'm him d- approve dude, it. I'm not gonna, care. Then it's all his goal fault. If you're not approved, approve it's people. Kevin's fault. No. We gotta approve people it's their who are. Fault. We gotta make sure they're not gonna take photos of the stuff on their stomach while they're lying in bed. That's rule number one. <laughs> rule, rule number one. one. Oh, I sold some stickers, by the way, guys. I carry matter you of time before least somebody be takes a photo. Sports cards and the whatever. People are putting like die cast in the sports card break section. I, so do I when delete it. I got questions. If you want to get into it, just delete, delete it. Well, I didn't know if I could like take the tab. Oh, I've been deleting people's uh, listings. That that I have been doing. I delete a lot of people's listings when I don't when I don't think they fit the top. In my defense, when you got when we decided to do dibbed it, you guys did realize you were doing dibbed it with me, correct? That's that's. I could have done it myself and <laughs> He's made five. In my defense, but I got to look through. There's uh-huh. 273 applications here. I approved 10 people yesterday. I approved. I, now I got to go on again. I approved and do like 20 in the last. Yeah, I mean, you could have done it yourself. It wouldn't have been called Dibbed It. It wouldn't be launched yet. It wouldn't have. <laughs> oh, it would be launched. No one would have been trained. No, I would no one would have been a trained silent yet. Partner. <laughs> and I've done it, but I, I want you know. I die. I've probably <laughs> approved like probably thirty percent of the current sellers, which is more than zero. Well, that, yeah. well, then if you divide that by there's three of us, that means you've done not even a third. Mm-hmm. Should I do like, one right now? Where's the other seventy percent come from? S and S bargain barn. I'm gonna rip. Copy. All right, Dave. Talk about something else. You don't want to do it. I don't care. What? Well, no. What are you selling? I literally not was going and looking Mercari. at people's eBay's a couple days ago. I'm only selling. No, I want to know what Carrie's the one who hasn't talked about what they're selling. What they're selling? Where? What you're selling on eBay? What? What's your big sale of the week? Oh, my big sale of the week. Oh yeah, I found those books in one of my recent what YouTube books? videos. I found uh, comic book compilations. I found two different compilations. One was five dollars. It was Prometheus, which is the Alien franchise. Mm-hmm. Five bucks sold that overnight for a hundred. Wow, which was a pretty pretty awesome one. Then I found the Hellboy complete collection, a seven like hardback book lot. Paid thirty five, which is a lot for us, and we sold that for two hundred, ten or two hundred, mm-hmm. somewhere wow. right around there. So yeah, we've had some compilation hardbound comic book compilations all right s and s and a few dollar 50 cards all right s and s bargain is going to get approved here i'm going to say welcome see here's the key dave you okay. please stick welcome to, to the niche of dibbed it well the guy who was posting plates and <laughs> belt buckles you approved so i don't know if it always Are you works sure? yeah oh, yeah wow. yeah Please stick to the so, niche. Of dip, I don't know. Dip. People don't necessarily read the oh, message. Is my point. We appreciate. Uh, I'm not going to do all this. I'm too tired. Can I? Can I tell you this? Okay, so I think this is like my own fault, but I want to know what mm-hmm. you think. So, a lot of times, resellers, YouTube resellers, or just resellers in general, will get offers to do like private picks Mm -hmm. right private picks rod is now constantly getting these Mm -hmm. offers for disney pins Mm -hmm. right just constantly Mm -hmm. which is you know self-fulfilling prophecy Mm -hmm. or whatever like because he sells a lot of disney pins which is awesome Mm -hmm. i'm like that's awesome i'm jealous of that honestly but i keep getting these offers of private picks for a horrible (laughs) plush they're like we just found ourselves a sucker let's milk it yeah i just like everyone that reaches out to me i've got i got two kind of private pick offers number one is plush number two is north carolina stuff so like I, it's a, I can't because well, they think I live in North Carolina. You got no idea. And then like here's the other thing. Like here, let's take some. Because if I do a private pick with you, I'll be completely honest about how I did. So here's there's there's a couple mm-hmm. steps here. I'll do a private pick. I will do a bad job. That's just because I'm a bad picker. And then I will advertise the fact that I did a bad job. And then everyone <laughs> who views it will hate the seller. They'll <laughs> hate the seller. Yeah. So no one wants to give me the opportunity 
to even do a private pick because somehow everyone you've will hate really, that person. I've really ruined myself here. You've really, yeah, you've really, you've really screwed yourself on this opportunity <laughs> by just totally fumbling every aspect of it. Well, the problem is I'm so honest. Like, I'm going to screw it up. I'm going to talk about I screw it up. And then they're going to blame the seller. Well, it's not the Dave, seller's fault, guys. This, this is a repeated. Dave makes no, this is money. This is part I don't of the... care what Dave mm. says. Dave sells a lot Dave of stuff. Does. And Dave it's does. it's impossible not to in Florida, in my opinion. It's like, what the freaking There's crap? So There's picking. so much stuff. There it's so ridiculous. I'm down there for mm-hmm. like three days, and I picked enough for two months up here. Yeah, I filled my van today. I mean, I got I got so much stuff. I just like, <clears throat> and the, the prices are crazy. Like, these aren't good. I thought you these said it was good. bad. I'll show you what I got. Well, I no, 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 that was a swinger okay. thing. Let, let him preface his pick that he wants to but show Jerry, us. I'm it's telling not you. good. And Go ahead. You're going to be there in January. But, I mean, it was like, yeah, it was crazy. So this is this is a tote I got. Eh. It's a tote. It's not great stuff, but my point was I like more it. like. Okay, so it's Ooh, all what's this. The, what stuff. are those? Oh, it's those like are... you know those '90s figures that aren't great, like Star Trek, but they're all on card. This whole bin, this whole tote. It's like, like how 50. much per figure? Because those are worth like this, ten bucks. This whole entire tote, this whole entire tote full was sixty bucks, and it's probably about oh, fifty yeah. to sixty. I would have bought that. So about a buck. I would have bought that all day. Yeah. And that's just like one of the random Dude, things I got at the flea market on a right Sunday. Here. Come on, Saturday. That's Let's why roll. I bought this for dipping. Let's roll. That, yeah, I'm I on Mojo this. wants to do option. another one. He killed it and on they're there. And they're fun figures. They're cool. That's good. So, That's good stuff. I never, I would never find. Dude, it would, I'm at Webster yeah. and Mike's huh. like buying these totes and buying whatever. I'm like, I should probably get a tote. <laughs> it's like, I guess I can. Yeah. Yeah, I mean those are cool. Yeah, yeah. And my dad, I mean, my those dad, are great. Was like if you sell, because you could, you could sell if you get them cheap enough, you could sell them on Dibbed it at a I'm real thinking, good price. I'm for thinking I might run them in lots of. Just I might run them in lots of two or three instead of just one. Just run them in lots of two or three and just let sell people them choose off like that. Yeah, that, that way. Yeah, because pick of the two. shipping, that's what I would. Yeah, that's a good idea. Pick two or something, but like that's the sort of stuff like at these flea markets. Maybe the people the at the, the. I feel like people with you. Can, uh, Dave, people with you, when they see that you're buying all these terrible plushes, Kevin will probably under- understand this analogy. But there were people in the sports card category that had Joe Flacco autograph rookie cards and just had them in a box for <laughs> 10 years. Nothing. And then all of a sudden, he's Joe Montana on the Cleveland Browns. And they're getting thousands of dollars. So, like, they've had their. There's people who have just had this stuff, and you're their Joe Flacco. <laughs> you are coming in and finally allowing them to sell this bad stuff. Dude. This reference is just and flying you're doing over my a head. Service. No, I, uh, gets it, I did sell. I did sell a plush, by the way, crappy plush for forty five dollars this weekend. Nice. It was from Dukes of Hazard. The dog from Dukes of Hazard. Nice. Forty five dollars. There's a dog on yeah. Dukes of Hazard. Yeah. I guess it's, so. Uh, what's yeah, the I don't, dog's I never name? Watched it. I could tell. You, and actually, you know what? It sold Hazard? on Macari. It sold I don't on Macari. I think I remember the name. So, that's cool. I also someone said they're gonna buy something off uh, my posh. I don't know. I've sold. Yo, know, spring is never gonna get here, y'all. I can't take this anymore. I can't take it. Why? Why can't? It's you so take cold. It? Saturday and it's like I, there's nothing to do on Saturday morning. It's driving me nuts. Move. Hey, south. I sold some south. silverware. Dave both move hey, south, dude. Uh, it's uh, Tuesday. Flash, flash, the flash, the flash, right, flash, the basset hound. Flash, because he yeah. doesn't do anything. They call him Flash. That's what it was. Yeah. That's funny. But I wanted to say this before Dave cuts us off here. So my daughter's got a whatnot going on tomorrow night. She's doing some of the Disney pins. Go help her out. Check her out. Hold on. Tomorrow night Wednesday. is it Wednesday? Yeah. I'm doing one Thursday. And tonight. But don't tonight, help me. Well, no one cares. Uh, tonight, though. Tonight, tonight is in Tuesday. As in Tuesday. Yeah. Live on <laughs> Trash to Cash. Just hang out. Me and Kara are just going to hang out and do a live for like Once an again, hour. Once again, not Kevin might asking. show yeah, up. We're just going to chill. I definitely Kevin may or may him. not show up. He said I'm not attending. Hey, you guys <laughs> made 50 bucks last week or something. Getting pity stuff. Oh, no, we were making them fight each other in the comments. Yeah. That was pretty fun. Like, yes. And like, it was, I think it was one foot flipper. Was yo, what are we going to do for 10,000? So, you, you, can you thank Paige for his super no. chats? And no, it wasn't please. just him. It was, who was one the other one? No, no go ahead it was Red Rally. We'll be quiet. Rad yeah. relics, yes, and Pat great D's. guys, yeah. great guys. Old, this old and Pat school D's. stuff. This is old school. Yeah. He's, a, he's the, the traveling OGs. picker, correct? Yes, he is a traveling picker. Pat we D's... didn't get any money from the railroad reseller. I can tell you that much. <laughs> no, not one no. single dollar, not a single penny. And I'm very upset <laughs> oh. about it. Okay, anything else yes. before we go? I can't guys? remember what, but something. Uh, oh well. Okay. Well, we'll just <laughs> let's just sit here go. and wait. No, for it's to think all of it, right. Guys. I got to go. No. It. Okay. Wait. Subscribe to Pocket Change Come Podcast, the second, to best, the, the second to best reselling podcast. Second to best reselling podcast. We can still in sell tickets, yeah. y'all. 
contractually yeah, obligated. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come that is true. We could sell tickets. That would help. Events, upcoming events and come, come and see us. Come and see us. Yeah. Come on down. It'll I can't fun. wait. We I'm have 60 tickets this. available and there's 52 tickets left, correct? <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah. It's just going to be us. We got to make I'm a paying. schedule. All right, we'll do that. It's costing me money. Come and enjoy it at least. So. We got yeah. we got a few people. Well, that, that's exactly right. Like we're gonna give away some tickets because I got we got to pay for the food, so we might as well give away a couple. You might as well mm-hmm. get some food. Yeah, exactly. All right, bye guys.